Hello, everybody. Let's get started. So, today's going to be an interesting uh, trip down memory lane. I apologize ahead of time if I get lost. We're about to get into what's actually a big open world segment of the game. So, I expect to be thoroughly confused by the map when we get to that point. I have a vague idea of what we need to do um, from that point forward. The end of the game itself will come together, I think, a little bit more since the final dungeon is quite long. But for now, we're going to take a trip, I believe, on our last real cannon shot through the game. I don't think we end up using cannons at all beyond this point in the game. So say goodbye to cannon travel. As we get the victory music, apparently, you know. Victory over cannon, I suppose. But welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. So we'll try to remain positive through the scary enemy waves. Because <laughs> as I said before, I'm trying not to grind too much. But I, I think what I'm going to do, uh, now that I understand the systems a little better, warming up to the game again, uh, our goal is to basically level magic as high as we can before we get to the other, other temples. There are several bosses that I recall being kind of annoying if we don't level magic, and by level I mean it has to get to basically level 4. If we don't do that, we're just simply not going to do enough damage. So we're going to squeeze in as much magic leveling in this session as we can without hopefully bogging ourselves down too much. So I plan on abusing this next area for magic up. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it a bit. We'll ignore the slightly off-center stuff. I did not pick up the right controller. Oh. It actually remembers where we were. I guess that works. <laughs> I mean, I thought I turned off the console, but that's the switch for you. So, I'm looking for two different things specifically. There's something called the circlet and the lazuli ring. Both of those raise intelligence. Yeah, there we go. Now we could go to the Empire. Let me pause the uh, overworld music one second. Sorry about that dual music for a little bit. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll be traveling to this area. I don't think there's a boss right away here. So I think as we go through the first dungeon, I'm going to check our magic score when we land, and I'm basically going to be alternating as much as possible. So for those not aware, my end goal is Freeze will end up getting pretty much to level 6 to level 7. I want it to be very powerful. I'm going to be using it for cheap and easy clear in the final dungeon, as well as a couple different bosses. Uh, I need fire magic, I think, pretty much ASAP. So the fact that it's not level 3 yet is not good. Undine being half of the way to level 4, I think, is really good news for us. So I'm going to level Undine into Salamando into Gnome. And I don't need Undine, I think, to get more XP than it needs. Sylphid's okay. Uh, but we are kind of far behind for where I need to be with Salamando. Salamando needs to be level 4. Pretty much by the, I think, second boss we fight? So we only have two bosses to get that up to the right level, or else the boss battle is going to take forever. This is Empire South Town. One thing I forgot to mention, sometimes it is just straight up faster to swap characters instead of waiting for stamina. We might use it in some of the towns. I just have to remember to actually swap. Woman named Mara lives here. She's a nutcase. Okay. Ah, uh, that's the character I'm looking for. Let's talk to presumably Mara. Huh, I know who you are. We're like, huh? Gemma's friends, right? See, I'm really a Tasni... Tasnikin? Tasnikin. I'm a Tasmanian. Tasnikin spy. So was my husband till he got caught. I'm continuing his work. Enter North Town from the Resistance Sewerway east of here. Give the guard the secret number, 634. For those wondering, it's the same every time. It would have been neat if that was randomized, but... Rip. Anyway, she's a nutcase, yada yada. 
So we're going to take a look at the item store. Since I said before, I'm looking for two very specific items. Oh, you're the inn. Oh. Well, I'll save here regardless. So this is why we got to reacquaint ourselves with the game. So that's the inn. Where's the item store? I know you exist somewhere. We're going to look for you. These days, the Emperor has such bizarre thoughts. Seeking peace, he prepares for war. Even as a force of monsters in the castle. Hmm. Mara always carries around a little box. Yeah, by the way, chat, if you don't follow up on this, you are absolutely going to get lost in Secret of Mana. So, yeah, if you thought you were done with Mara after you got the password and you forgot she has that little box, you are so done, by the way. Straight up, you're done. Like, we need to... She is mandatory to do something later, which is really brutal, I might add. Hmm. I don't see what I'm looking for, but it could be that I can't access it until we go through the other place. How many uh, healing items do I have? Quick like check. Four of each healing type, okay. So I will try to remember to come back. I have to have somebody tell me something has happened, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow. That That is probably the biggest point where you could get lost in this game. But fortunately, I remember that. Okay, we're in South Town. I think I might need to get to North Town to get what I'm looking for. I don't think both items are in the same store. I think one of them we have to fly to. The other we might be able to get there. The To be fair, some of the later towns kind of look the same, so it's possible we might have to fly to both, to be honest. Okay, I don't see anything in South Town, so we'll move on. I was seeing if we could skip through them, I'm not gonna lie. Try the secret number. Six. Three. Four. Enter. Okay. So, we are gonna be leveling some spells, chat, and I do not care how many items I have to use on the way here. I don't think there's a boss between us in the next place. Let's get Undine leveled. And hopefully get some kills as we go through. Oh, I need to go closer, I think. Oh, I thought they were st what? How is he not stunned by the spell? What happened there? Did I not multi-select? That sucks. Getting so manned is getting so manned is really, really unfortunate. That's a big waste of time. Um. Okay, Undine's almost level four. I think that might be good enough for now. Actually, you know what? I'll just level it. Yeah, these things are really annoying, as you can see. Let's fireball all these. Oops. I'm slowly learning what button I have to press. The thing that makes it a little confusing is depending on who I am, it's a different button to menu. I have to get used to the partners versus the non-partners. Damn, do you see them splitting up and wasting our time here? I mean, I need to keep casting spells. This isn't the worst thing ever. But, like, look how many just keep appearing as I'm fighting. Like, isn't that crazy? Oh, we leveled, but we didn't get another MP point. That's kind of unfortunate. I really just wanted that chest. Chocolate won't fit. Unfortunate. Come on, level 3 fire. They keep splitting, so I keep not hitting all of them. Welcome in Parameter. As I said before, I'm not super worried about our MP or anything at the moment. 
Why can I not hit them? Holy. RNG, please. <laughs> I, it's a random chance that they dodge, I would just like to state, and we are getting crazy unlucky. I can't even kill them because we keep missing. Holy. Splitting again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's probably good. Let's get an Earth spell in there. I'm gonna use one more. And then what I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually gonna leave the dungeon after this. Just to rest up and then we'll go forward. Just in case, I just in case there's a boss at the end of this, which I don't think there is, but we'll double check. So I know, basically just need to spam this. Speaking of which, since I'm just spamming this stuff. That's not targeting both of them. Game, please don't do that. Nice, I got to level three. This is making me feel a lot better. I got most of my magic to level three. Okay. So fire needs to be level three. Uh, Silk being level four is nice. Earth, I don't know if I needed to actually level again. Earth is more of kind of like a filler spell, to be honest with you. So you know what, this is good enough. I'm gonna rest it off. It's more important that I have ice level four and fire is at least level three. I'm gonna have a couple opportunities to level it as we continue through the rest of the dungeon, so I'm not super worried about hitting level four right away. But I'm feeling better that it's leveled here. Yeah, the way you want to kind of view it is I'm getting somewhere... I think between enemy weakness, we add like 50 to 100 damage per spell, just for chat clarity. Whenever we level up one of these spells. So this ends up being like a hilarious amount of damage, especially if they're weak to it. Like, look at that. We went from doing, I think, 60 to 118. Like, this is what I'm talking about. 234 damage. Crazy. Welcome, Project Omega. Still got an okay amount of MP left. I was hoping to just get a quick kill there. Didn't get it. Whatever. Okay, enough farming. Let's make progress. I'm feeling pretty good about the spell levels right now. If we happen to get kills on the way, it's kind of nice. Okay, so regardless here, I would have cast a spell to advance, because they're both in my way. Or, you know, that's fine. They'll just not go further down. Please go. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move. Don't move him with you. Go past him. These guys are stupid, I swear. Wait, where is the exit? Oh, over here. Hmm. Got one MP left. I could do vines to level. Let's do that. We'll check our spell levels in a moment. Please move past them. Let's recover MP. Undine is one usage away. Salamando is really close to leveling, so this is good. So I'm going to tell them to do... Uh, 
Can you please cast spells when I'm telling you to cast spells? Thank you. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Oh, what are they doing? Yeah, I'm gonna have to manually tell them to move forward. That was kind of a waste. Okay, so Salamando is almost leveled. Please move. Please just move. Thank you. I think we're actually at the exit here. It's not a big dungeon. Let's level Sylph a little. Let's take a look at our weapon, or not weapon levels, uh, magic levels. Thank you for resubscribing. Thank you, Calvisham. So yeah, we got Undine where it needs to be. Salamando's pretty close. Gnome, we snuck in a little bonus XP. Sylphid still needs work, but it's better than nothing. You know, shaking my head, chat. I also don't like in this game where you tell them to cast a spell and they just ignore you. I'm gonna say, I'm not a fan of that either. That does get kind of annoying. Like, they're in like a transition period, but they don't buffer it at all. Should be good enough. There we go. Who are you? Imperial spies? Hardly. Gemma told us about you. Welcome to the Resistance, says Chrissy. We shake our head. I'm Bandit. How do you do? Wow, you're a woman. Why does she look so mad? Jealous? Knock it off. I'm Dylux girl. You know Dylux? Of course. Why? A Dylux been draining people's energy at the ruins to the east. Like in Pandora. But why is Dylok? Something must be controlling him. We'll check on that. All the trouble started about 15 years ago. How ominous of you. Girl says, Chrissy is our leader. Okay. Chrissy's dad founded the Resistance. When he was caught, she kept us together. She's only 18, but she's brilliant. Good luck. <laughs> cool. Chrissy had to grow up fast. There we go, chat. We're getting all the lore. The Emperor has some powerful bodyguards. Sheik's Jeshar Fana and Thanatos. They're capable of anything. <laughs> They're capable of being bosses, I think you mean. Let's get moving. The Emperor's using his troops to find us. People are such are sure busy in the ruins over there. Well, Chan, we have to get through another ruins. It's fun playing war. Uh, I don't think it's playing war, but sure. Resistance, this base is well disguised. Heard Chrissy crying at night. Like how they all just tell us the stuff. Like, it's so unnatural. Of course, the coffee shop is where they're at. We once fought the Republic. The Empire consists of this town, South Town, and the Gold Isle. I think we have to go to the Gold Isle at some point. Uh, let's check the item store here. What'll it be? Uh, do you have what I'm looking for? Tiger bikini? No. Um... I could get tiger cap. I don't think it offers any stats. I have a lot of extra gold because we were killing stuff earlier. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Why not? I need to save up at least uh, 8,000 for the other equipment, so I, I should have enough by the time we finish the other dungeon. But since I got extra from killing those enemies while leveling, our other stuff... You know, I, if nothing else, chat, a defense increase from 7 to 32, I think should put me in the safety zone, at least for the protagonist. 
So me not 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 having to feel stressed while doing this will probably be good. Is there like actually an in here at all? I actually don't remember. Seen my wife. She's acting strangely all of a sudden. Oh, I like that house with no door. Don't know how they get in the house. Maybe they have to just charge it through their windows. Like, listen, we don't have time to make this place visitable. Empire consists of this. Oh, no, we already talked to you. Help, Mama! Okay. Uh, where is the inn, if there is one? There it is. Stranger danger indeed. Let's go save. Truly a modern architectural marvel, the doorless house. Yeah, pretty much. So my levels are actually looking super good. I'm able to cast four lightnings, I think, at this point. Which is pretty huge. We're gonna need that for later. Um... Honestly, our, our magic levels are looking so nice. I wonder if I could just actually just straight up kill the boss without needing to worry about it. Like, Salamando is the only one that has to hit level 4. The other ones already being, like, partially leveled is really good for us. We're gonna get an opportunity to do that. Actually, Chad, I want to see something before we go further. Sound smells like war. Found any new weapon orbs? Uh, I got a question for you. Mmm, can't get it yet. So, I'm looking for something, I believe there's a level of the Javelin, where it becomes like the Devil Fork, or the Imp Fork, or something like that. It allows you to basically balloon enemies if you strike them, and that, unironically, when the first time I played through the game was like my main weapon on the hero. Like, when I first beat this game, I had, like, one level in sword and tried it was, like, level 8. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm like, why do I want a sword when I could just javelin something full screen? And it potentially multi-hits, depending on how it hits. Why is the Emperor take taking on the world? I fear for my family. I think this sprite was also pretty good with the spear. Basically, anything that gave them range was decent. Just don't give them fists or a sword. Or axe, honestly. There aren't any parties. My sister's going nuts. Oh dear. I must dress for the castle party. Oh no, chat. There's an oh dear. Is dinner ready yet, mom? We have a big family here. Blue down the Why is the emperor take- Oh, never mind. Didn't realize we were in the same portion of the house. Hmm. Ask it if you have any business at the castle. Oh, we will soon. Not right now, though. Also, Chad, I'd like to make a small corre correction. I believe I called the wall boss that we fought Doom Wall. Uh, that is not the right boss. I think its name was actually Wallface. And no, I'm not kidding. I I'm pretty sure it was called Wallface. Doom Wall is an enemy in this game, but we'll see that later. Uh, let's see. I know, what a great name. So I just need to level Salamando. Honestly, I might mess around a little bit here. Fana, wake up! Are you okay, Fana? Shh. Dialogue and I are happy here. We just love being together. Liar! Don't you wish? Oh! Oh, Fana. Fana. I... Let's go get her to Chrissy's. Come on, Chie. I think we slapped her so hard she passed out. I think that's what just happened there, chat. Chrissy says, Bandon, what's up? Chrissy, can you help her? No sweat. I'll take her to our doctor. Please. Don't worry. Go help Dialog. 
chat bob into the music so anyway we slapped her unconscious oh I heard myself move in that cutscene briefly well as chat would imagine i basically don't want to fight anything here at all because <laughs> uh they're gonna be immune to us so wish me luck i have to get through this area The less we deal with the enemy, the better. Please just go th just a little bit further, please, I beg of you. We were almost there. That's that's what kills me, chat. We were like literally right there. Come on. I prefer my characters to not die. Move a little for oh, come on. Game please. I'm like one step from the exit and I can't do it. Move. 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 Come on. You're killing me. Literally. Holy. I don't want to get into extended fights here because our AI companions are gonna take a million damage. What was in this door? How do they, they I, you know what? I'm impressed that they got hit there. I'm just actually impressed. Oh wait, she's not gonna cure herself. She's gonna die. Who leveled? Oh, I leveled? Uh, that's probably okay. Wow, I'm really glad I gave them extra defense because they are just taking it to the face left and right. Oh, there's no point to this room, unfortunate. I might actually have to equip the boomerang or something. Poor Javelin. Oh, I didn't want to level with the Javelin though. That's ah, really annoying. Speaking of annoying, did it really drop connection? We were like... 10 minutes in, come on, OBS. You're killing me. I mean, I'm unfortunately going to have to pause the gameplay in a little bit if it doesn't come back on its own. But for now, let's proceed forward. GA hitting level 24 is not too bad. Oh, that's so bad. I'm gonna reset the room. Yeah, that's just kind of unfortunate. They just really outrange us there. Alright, so I'm gonna pause very briefly, see what's going on. Okay, I came back, never mind. Okay, so I need something. I'm really scared to level Boomerang. I might have to tell... Maybe Chie... Oh, I glitched the menu, nice. I have to tell Chie to wield it or something. Like, I need to be able to hit something so I could get through. Maybe this will work. I'll play as the girl for a little bit. I don't care if the boy melees, because he's pretty tanky at this point. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Just go down the stairs, go down the stairs. Stop, stop, stop. Alright, so I need to hit that switch to advance. Thinking about what I need to do to get that to work. So I need to lower the spikes, and then we can proceed. Yeah, so the boy is taking, like, no damage, which is fine. The sprite is almost dead, which is a problem. Have to cure. Yeah, a big issue with the game, as I said before, is that uh, if they get stuck on something, I just can't move. Oh, that damage cancel. That damage cancel was sick. Oh, no, come on. No, stop walking into it. <laughs> Guys, you're killing me. Just... Please. Please stop getting damage loot by the enemy. Please. Man. But you can see, like, it could go wrong really quick. And, like, a lot of that is, like, not super in my control. It's just, like, if the AI decides that it wants to go there because I path even, like, a pixel too close, they're gonna waste all my healing resources, which really sucks. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to do another emergency heal here, which I really didn't want to do. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's just it's just kind of annoying, and I can't tell him to have certain weapons because he'll mess something up if he levels. So what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna change his AI behavior, which I need to change before I play as him again, which is why I didn't want to do this earlier, to maybe here-ish. So hopefully he stops walking into enemies. So I might have mentioned, oh, come on. Just touching them hits you. Okay, go backwards. Please go left, go left, go left, go left, go left, go left. I don't care if you fire saber, that's fine. Go through. Oh. I apparently got spell blasted. Let's go not take that damage. No. Oh, I'm so dead. I think I'm gonna lose the character here. There's not much I could do about it. Really unfortunate. They kept getting. Please stop getting stuck. Okay, you know what? I just die. Just die. It's like it is it is just far too annoying to navigate with you here. What? Well they spell cast on a dead body. That was interesting. Alright, AI, AI's annoying me, chat. We're just gonna leave them dead for a little bit. Oh, is my uh Moogle going to go away at some point, by the way, or am I just stuck like this? Oh no. I went to melee and I forgot I'm still Moogled. Um Could you could you unmoogle? I feel like I was in an infinite Moogle there, chat. I'm pretty sure that is not meant to last for like 12 rooms. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's supposed to have ward off way before that point. So I don't know what happened. Maybe somebody died and glitched it. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Welcome, Dango. So I'm going to leave our party members dead because they're just annoying. And I have enough defense that I could just tank this at this point and be fine. That's how I'm choosing to get through this. I have two cups of wishes. I'm going to have to use it to revive them at some point. Who are appears behind you. That's fine. Yeah, look how much easier navigation is with them dead. Downside is with only one character, I can't damage cancel spells. So I gotta be somewhat careful here. Really? Did you really get stuck even though you're dead? I'm getting- I'm actually getting trolled. <laughs> Chat, how is that even possible? Alright, as soon as I see what looks like the boss, we'll bring him back. Game's actually trolling me. Ooh, that could have gone really bad. Uh, I need you both alive. So what are we fighting? Is it the wall or something else? It's the wall. Hopefully I didn't take too long coming up here or else bad things could happen to us. I'm going to go ahead and shrink Numnu. It hit healed itself before I did damage. That was interesting. Um, You know what? I still need to level fire a, a little bit. Uh, why didn't the... Oh, there we go. So it's not taking a lot of damage there, which is fine. I'm just looking to level fire a little bit more. And now we're gonna spam ice until it dies, basically. So I could have waited a little bit on ice levels, but I think we're gonna go all out here. Might be dead here. 
it does. Uh, I'm going to just immediately heal MP, I think, here. I guess I could have her cast it, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I got a little bit of extra spell levels. The fire doesn't need as much to level. We might do it a little bit here as well. Freeze is good, I can't get it any higher. We snuck in like a little extra earth experience just in case. Whips orb. So that's just kind of the mid boss of this place. Actually. I just remembered there's a uh, there's a bug we can showcase. So I'm gonna go ahead and quick save because I don't want to play with the file that we're about to do something on. So let's save over here. So Chan, we're about to soft lock ourselves on purpose. So what we need to do this is I need every character that is not the girl to die here. Which given the AI, I don't think will take very long. <laughs> right chat? Like I just, something tells me. She's still using ribbon from the beginning of the game. They can keep that defense up. So let's showcase the bug. We're here. We, we got set up. Oops. Did not mean to do that. So all we gotta do is let Dumb and Dumber here get murdered by stuff. Okay, there we go. Let's we've now set up the glitch. <clears throat> Everybody dot dot dotting. Die luck. Chie, at last. Die luck. I'm so glad you're safe. What are you doing, pesky girl? Bring her back now! Sorry, but Thanatos needs her help. You can't be serious, she loves you. I can't handle this. <laughs> His ghost punches him. Ouch! Uh, Chie! Chie! Ah! Oh! Thanks, I needed that. I can't move, so please help Chie! Um. Go through the door back there! Chat might have noticed what the problem with that is. Oops, soft lock. Can't move. Can't menu. <laughs> there we go, chat. Just fit in a quick little soft lock. Don't mind me. I love that stuff. What a wimpy got hurt by a ghost. Yeah, we we were done. We have to reset the game. There's nothing you could do. You can't revive or do anything. It's hilarious. <laughs> Don't mind me. Anyway, we went through the cutscene before. gonna say for people that played the game before did you know you could soft lock yourself like that it's amazing normally you won't ever do that because you get healed right before the boss but man it is a hilariously stupid and yeah, chat, did you see the difference in damage when I had armor versus not armor? So I went from taking 130 down to just 50. I'm glad we bought the safety items for defense, or we would have been super hosed, I think. The boy is ultra tanky right now. So he's about the defense where you should be in this game, and you can see it's like night and day difference. But again, we're trying not to grind. Okay, this is one of the more annoying bosses in the game, by the way, chat, so wish me luck on this one. Chie ah, go! <laughs> Stick around. Give me a second. Is it really gonna act up on me? Give me one second. So yeah, unfortunately, it seems like our internet is just really not stable today. Still, <sighs> really, really, really unfortunate.
Let me see if I could reset it while I'm here without moving away. Oh, it's not signed in on my computer. It's kind of annoying. I gotta do it on this one. Yeah, just not really sure what to do when it's out of our control. I mean, fortunately, I can save anywhere in this version of the game, but yeah, this really, really, really puts a hamper when you're trying to get into like a flow and technical issues like this outside your control keep happening. It's quite frustrating. I love how it tells me no outage detected, like, thanks. So we're gonna wait, and if it comes back, we'll continue playing. I'm gonna edit this part out, I think, in the VOD. But again, this adds a lot of unnecessary time to my recordings. So it's like, I definitely don't want to do bonus streams if it's gonna drop like this. So anyway, we'll give it a minute. Hopefully it'll be stable, and then we'll resume with the dialogue. Anyway, let's reread the dialogue and proceed. Chie! Ah! <laughs> Stick around! Her life force is strong, Shil. Hey, what the? Idiot, stop it! Where am I? You can move? We can too! Ah, Dylock, he sent her some power! Who does he think he's toying with? I grow tired of you. Vampire, take care of them. Okay, chat, this boss is ultra, ultra annoying. This is my least favorite boss in the game. Even with spell cheese, this boss is horrendous. Also, I didn't MP up, which was really unfortunate. I got distracted by uh, disconnects. I don't think that'll get me killed, but it's gonna be brutal. Oh, he's, oh, we got, okay. We just got so lucky. You have no idea how lucky we just got. I am so happy he decided to fly there. Oh my gosh, that saves us so much time. So for those that haven't seen this before, uh, I don't know if he'll get a chance to do it, so I'll describe what will what normally happens. I call him the Pogo Vampire. He has a very annoying attack where he dive kicks you repeatedly, like he's alucarding on you all over your face and you are basically in Stunlock Central. It's great if you physically want to use weapons. It's horrific if you're trying to use spells because this guy will be dealing hundreds of damage to you repeatedly and you play a mini game of trying to bait him into targeting very specific people, which uh, is not great to say the least. Let's get a lava, not an exploder. Let's get a lava in here. Please use the spell before he does anything else. Okay, that's good. I know his weakness is in fire, but I'm trying to level fire magic. It sounds like it just leveled. Good, I don't have to worry about that then. So that's leveled. I can go back to a couple things of maybe gem missile. Another gem missile. So we're going to take this opportunity to level our spells. Ooh, we didn't even max damage there. That's interesting. So I'm going to be very careful here. Who is he targeting? Ooh, dodge that damage. Oh, I think that worked, but did that cancel the MP? I think it canceled the MP. Oh, that is so unfortunate. I needed that MP. Alright, so I'm gonna be really careful here. I think I have to play somewhat seriously. Let's do some air discos. Ooh, I didn't know who he targeted there or else I would have resisted the damage. That's really, really unfortunate, actually. He's using another spell. Why am I not able to use another spell? Hello? Is he asleep or something and there's just no graphic for it when that happens? If so, that really sucks. Uh, can I please use my spells before he does anything else, please? I guess he's unconscious, but the game is not telling me that that's the case, so I'm gonna cure. I don't know who he's targeting, I'm gonna repick me. 
All right, we dodged the damage there. This could get really ugly because he canceled... I had to cancel my magic or else I would have died. So I'm gonna hope that this does enough damage. We might have to use the girl to finish him. We'll see. It's gonna be real close, chat. I'm not gonna lie. Is that wasted a whole walnut that I thought I had? Previously, I would have said we would have been fine. There's the stomp attack that I don't want to see. Oh, unconscious. Uh, how much MP does the girl have? I might need her to just finish this battle, or at least stall. I'm gonna hope that this works. Alright, that did work. Ooh, this is gonna be so tight if this works. If this doesn't kill, we're in big trouble. We're now officially in big trouble. So unfortunately, I wasted a walnut because I needed to dodge damage. Um, how do we kill him from here is the question. I think I could swap back into melee. I don't know who he's targeting, but this could be very bad news for us. So we're out of healing items. It's down to whatever we have left. And he did energy absorb, which is the worst possible thing to do when you're trying to kill him in a reasonable time. Already dead. Lost my opportunity to hit as the man. Yeah, I might have to reset this one, sadly. No! Oh, I just wanted to cancel it, but he had to let go of charge to do that. That sucks. Okay, we can cancel the damage he's about to receive here. Yeah, but unfortunately, that walnut cancel might have ruined the boss fight completely. I don't know what the backup is if this happens. Like, I can avoid the damage here to some extent, but I have to actually hit him. Which, as you can see, I can't hit him still, by the way. Just so chat is clear. Until he goes on the ground, I can't do anything. <sighs> that wasn't good enough to dodge. So we are now at the mercy of the game. That is really unfortunate. Really, really unfortunate. I should have just couple wished, I guess. As I said before, this boss fight is just awful when it goes wrong. I didn't swap characters fast enough. I can dodge that damage at least. It's important we don't let him heal. Oh, he still healed even through it? Yeah, I think this is actually over, unironically. I don't think I could do enough damage to kill this guy in time. And she's almost dead. That really sucks. I think I'm off by like 200 damage or so. I mean, it's possible for me to do it. It's just not very likely. If he keeps grabbing the boy like this, we're in big trouble. Out of healing. Yeah, I might have to go back to the last save. That really sucks. Canceled the damage there. Yeah, this might be the first actual game over. I, I don't think there's anything I could do without that other walnut. As you can see, there's just such long times in between when I can hit him. And then if you're too close, he auto grabs you and I'm out of healing. So the combination of him being able to heal himself like this, not what I wanted to do. Oh, she's dead. Oh, she's not dead. Uh, We'll take that then. But his ability to just constantly heal himself like this is a problem. Like, I don't think I can out-damage his heal. Like, see how little opportunity I get to fight him normally? This is why you don't want to fight bosses normally in this game. Bosses in this game are cruel and unforgiving. I think I'm just gonna take the death. Honestly, chat, I, I don't see how I can win with this. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna reset, sadly. So we'll count that as a death. Super, super unlucky. So I'm gonna go back to where we saved before and we'll just go from here. Otherwise I have to go through the whole dungeon again, which is not worth you sitting through. As I said before, I think he is one of the worst bosses in the game, and I think you can see why. Like, unless you're, like, really, really, really overloaded in healing items, and everybody is really strong, you just can't do enough damage to him, so it just becomes, like, a damage race. If he was targetable when he was in the sky with, like, Bow and Boomerang, I don't think he would be as bad, but the fact that, like, he's, like, 90% of the time immune to physical is just garbage, <laughs> like, I'll be real with you. He's by far my least favorite boss in the game outside of the final boss. And unfortunately, that's not the only time we have to fight Vampire. So that's fine, we'll go through that again. I was hoping to not die in this playthrough, but this was gonna be the boss. Yeah, like we were really close, but the fact that he could, if he didn't have energy drain, it would have been possible. But the fact that he was still healing like 130, 130, like, I only do at most 56 with my completely powered up weapon and power wrist. Like, I, there's no way I'm killing him. So anyway, let's try this again. Forgot that I didn't do MP again because I got distracted. So let us... I'm gonna do regular fireball for a little bit. I'm gonna shrink you. So I do want to make sure this is magic levels. And it did. And another thing that was really unlucky is the sprite got knocked unconscious at one point, so that just led to a lot of damage against us. So now I think I'm gonna spam... maybe just Earth Slide for damage. I can make up damage or skill later on Gnome, whenever I need it. Alright, let's do this again. What are you doing? Hello? Where was... okay. It's fine. Cast the spell! Cast the spell! I beg of you. Alright, now we should be doing some serious damage. Oh, he's not targetable because he's out of range. Interesting. Brain too soon. So the air slash is not going to do a lot of damage, but lightning does do damage. I'm going to do a couple of these. I don't want to mess around too much. Like, we do need to actually kill him, kill him at some point. I'm going to use freeze to hopefully dodge this damage. Now I'm gonna use MP on them new. All right, so we're almost done with the boss, but this time I can actually kill. So he went to grab me, but I was spell casting, so I don't really know what that's gonna do to the AI. That's fine. So you can see he's still pretty tanky. There we go. So I would have been off by about 400 health, gauging how many spells he took there. We managed to level freeze, fires leveled, earth leveled, got a couple lightning use. I'm, I'm thankful we had some levels on our other spells. But yeah, you can see what happens. Just one, one less walnut equal GG. It's kind of unfortunate. Where's Dialog? Dialog! Dialog! GA, let's go! I don't even think our weapons were all that weak. I think the Sword Orb was actually as strong as it could have been. 
I mean, I could have fixed our AI pattern a little bit for more damage, but it wouldn't have been, like, that crazy different. I'm okay, I'll find him. I'm sure. Alright, so let's check out our spell levels. We have a couple spell casts we could use, potentially. Dundee's level 4, Salamander's level 4, Sylphid's almost level 4. Before we go further... I'm curious if there's any enemies still, or they're just gone because I beat the bosses. I would have liked to have burned some MP. Uh, let's let's burn some MP then. Um, keep leveling cure water. Level earth weapon up maybe. Okay. That should be good enough. Won't open anymore. Oh. Oh, you can't actually do anything here. Well, I'm gonna use the rope then, because I'm not walking out of here. <laughs> no thanks, right chat? No thanks. So a bit unfortunate. Yeah, I wasn't sure if uh, the damage cancel canceled MP. I learned the hard way, and that cost me the boss battle. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and rest up. We definitely need the walnuts back. I have most of what I need leveled at least. So we're going to be spamming freeze whenever we're not sure of the weakness and we're going to be leveling everything else when we can because there are times where it's kind of obvious what the weakness is. Like technically I think the doom wall was weak versus earth slide for example and some bosses are usually weak to lightning or explode. Uh, but if we have like level 4 magic it doesn't matter as much. The guy body blocked me hard. I don't think we went in here. Examine Fauna. Her vital signs are way off. Don't worry though, she'll be okay. She still dot dot dots us. Okay. Can't do anything here yet, I don't think. We definitely need to get walnuts, or the game is not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna be able to purchase the other healing items for the end of the game, which will make my life way easier. But the fact that we still only have access to chocolate here kind of sucks. Goodbye, our money total, by the way. Mm, is that enough to get what I need now? I don't think it is. Kind of unfortunate. I definitely need medicinal herb. Not having that is brutal. Please stop getting stuck. I beg of you. This is causing me to take so much damage. Man, I should have left them dead, chat. I'm gonna be real with you. It's okay that he killed me, because I can revive from that. Oh, can we not actually do anything yet here? Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to talk to them about it? <laughs> I had business with the Emperor, but apparently not. Not yet. Maybe I have to be told to do something with them. Might be jumping in the gun. Let me go back to the cafe. Maybe something will happen. Ah, oh, okay. There we are. What's wrong? I see. Dialogue is... Well, don't give up yet. We know Thanatos is up to something. But now the Emperor wants a truce. He's saying he wants peace. Maybe we should give the Emperor a chance. We made the Emperor change his mind. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay, we'll go. Come with us. After this meeting, your journey will be over. 
We'll go on ahead. Yeah, I'm sure the knights that just attacked me unprovoked are clearly there for peace, Chad. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. Also, I'm glad I had armor, by the way, when I did that. I would have taken, I think, 130 without armor. So anyway, this again. But this time, they're gone. Welcome, the Emperor awaits you. To your right, please. I'm gonna do a little safety save here, Chad. I wanna see something. Oh, uh, I don't think you can buy these two. Oh, uh, you got it. You got to check, Chad. You got to check. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna go back to sword for now. Huh? Where is everybody? Welcome, the Emperor awaits you. My, what a day to remember. We crushed the Resistance and the Mana Knight. Pipe down, trapped. <laughs> wow, we are just stupid, John. Man, says let us out of here. No, I wanna to talk to Chrissy, go away. Oh, Emperor Vandal is a dog. Stop moving so much. I can't talk to you if you do that. You should have known better. Yeah, you really should have. Quiet. So you went out, huh? Welcome, Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. Let everyone out. Huh. Relax. Wait your turn. Well, chat. Time for the sprite reuse. And it continues. So... It's weaknesses, don't care. I'm gonna level magic on this. Uh, let's see, we needed a little bit more of Gnome and Sylphids. Let's level those. Start with some Gnomen. Shrink you to speed up the cast. Oh, that was near instant. Controller, please. Controller, please. Stop that. <laughs> that was not me, chat. That was the game just deciding to do whatever it wanted. So unfortunately, with him stunned, I'm not able to chain as easily. Okay, now we're good. Again, I don't care what its weakness is. I'm just leveling magic. Okay, that leveled. So now I can focus on... We'll do some air slice. Please actually cast the spell, please. Okay, we're almost done at least. I'm listening for the third hit that lets me signal that I can chain it. Okay, so everything is leveled, so now what I can do is just focus on regular damage. And boss died anyway. So here we go. Everything's level four. So I could just focus on freeze magic. And if we do need to use those spells for damage, they're as good as they can get. So not a hard boss battle. That boss battle is such a step down from vampire. Welcome, Kaiser. Like, the difficulty of that boss compared to the previous boss? Ridiculous. Literally do whatever I want on that fight. Um... Hmm. Girl, please. <laughs> Slash Chie, I think we named her. We'll open this. 
thousand gold. Okay, that, that kind of makes up for earlier. I need about eight thousand, as I said before, to finish off equipment, and it's also pretty good defense on uh, Numnu. Okay, these enemies are kind of annoying. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna use free. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought I selected all. I said I was just gonna use freeze just to get rid of these. Get a little money. We leveled off of it. Nice. Chie also leveled. So we just freed our companions. Who are too stupid to leave, apparently. Uh, can't touch that. Even if there's another boss, I'm not really that worried. I'm new level. That's actually excellent for us. I'm killing them for a bit of XP for Numnu, so we have more max stats. Okay, so these use Defender. There's actually a glitch in- There's just chats- no, to, to no one's surprise, there's a glitch with one of the enemies. I don't think it's that one. Check out this room before we go further. I don't know which way is the right way. I went the wrong way, but we got items for this. So what was in here? Axorb, fair. Whip orb, okay. And every chest spawned an enemy, interesting. I'm gonna tell our companion just to ice them. I don't think we're getting through this unscathed otherwise. I mean, if it kills, it's nice, but I'm not expecting it to. Oh, okay. She actually landed the boomerang hit. So thankfully we level boomerang, so we get little sneaky kills like that every now and then. Uh, let's reset the room. So chat, there is a gl you know what, we'll talk about it when we get to it. But there's a very specific spell I'm looking for an enemy to cast. Please move forward. Please, please, please. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please move. <laughs> it's like... Right, chat? Like, jeez. Okay, stunned you. Can you briefly heal our other companions so I don't need to use a chocolate on this? Actually, don't remember if we have to go left or right here. I guess we'll find out. I'm assuming we have to make our way back to the throne room, and this might just be items. Let's just verify. And by throne room, I meant the banquet hall. Oh no, this actually kind of looks right. Hmm. I. You know what? I didn't mean to go right, but that looked promising. Let's go left. was the correct way. Okay, so we're trying to manage our partners as much as possible here. To try to get them to go through. Okay, I might need them to be like slightly more aggressive than what they are. Like, I don't mind them pushing a little bit, but they need to like... They need to like sometimes hit the enemy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want them to get in like long drawn out fights, but them not attacking at all is actually kind of a problem. Oh, speaking of which, for our main AI, I gotta set that back. So that way, if I swap back into the character, I don't get a damage penalty. We'll do that. Yeah, like, see how they were aggressive there? Okay, I can't go that way. I just seem to just, a little, just a little teeny tiny aggressive. Oh, Sprite is, Sprite is so dead. I'm sorry, Numnu. I don't think I can save you. Um... I don't think that'll bring him back because the animation was cancelled. So him being on fire kind of screwed us there. Speaking of screwed us, they are just really not doing well. Let's revive. 
again, like it's both like my movement's okay. I'm not gonna call it like top tier movement through this dungeon, but like at the same time, it's like you can see like where all the damage is being taken is from the AI companions. So unfortunately, I would definitely recommend it more if it was multiplayer. This game is quite fun in multiplayer. But when it comes to Oh, that's not actually a door. When it comes to other kinds of movement, oh, you know what? I should just go back through here. Trying to make them all go through the narrow doorways, it could get kind of annoying, as you see. It's just like a little bit of busy work. There we go. Oh, do we have to hit this? Okay, yeah, I had to hit that. That was a real switch. Hmm. Guess you're the real thing. Sir, one more chance, please! Why not? Finish them up and come to the palaces. Now I reclaim my honor! Oh yeah, you're a mech bike person. Well, anyway, chat, I hope you enjoyed seeing what you see of the boss, because I am gonna no mercy murder this boss. I am not even 1% worried about this boss. GG to this boss. Please finish your animation. Please finish your animation, thank you. No. Oh, out of MP, out of MP. I'm gonna use the girl to actually stall then. I don't need her for damage, I need her to stall the enemy. Why don't you just bank with him? There we go. Now we could go back to our regularly scheduled freeze. We don't want to stack too much damage because the cap is 999. And the boss is dead. Can we all agree, chat? Those last two bosses, not anywhere near the tier of difficulty of Vampire. Like, really easy. Even if you ignore the fact that you could cheese them very easy with spells, it's just like, they're so much more vulnerable, comparatively. Ooh, 300 health with the protagonist, that's always nice. Javelin Orb, maybe we could get the thing I'm looking for, and like, one more Javelin Orb upgrade. I'm gonna burn up this whole place! Any more jump kicks that they want to be on the vampire's level? Exactly. We're finished! Hey, Chad, here's where we will get absolutely lost. What's that sound? Hello! Uh, that's... that's Truffle! Am I too late? Do you know... do you want to know how I came here? By Flemmy, he grew like a weed and started to fly. I didn't know what to do, so I hopped on. Strange, but he thinks you're his parents. I guess he wants to help you. Take this flammy drum, it's his favorite toy. And also a speedrunner's favorite toy, because this thing has like five million glitches with it. Use it anywhere and he'll come to you. Now take me to Matango, it's to the southwest. Here we go, chat. Boom, fast travel unlock, sort of. Oh boy. Um. Let's figure out controls. So start shows us the globe. So I can rotate with left and right and I can move it very gradually with up and down. But you can see it's ultra slow. So eventually we have to go here. But we're not going there yet. We can go in the frost area over here. I don't want to go there yet. Uh, there's a giant kind of like sunken continent that we'll eventually go to. There is an optional area here that we could go to for the sake of going here. And our real destination is actually where that little bit of red was in the mountains. We might ignore the king. Oh my bad, I keep thinking that's the button, but it's not a button. Oh, I didn't even know there was another mode to the map. Today I've learned. I don't know if it shows where we are currently. Oh, it kind of does. Interesting. So start lets you see all this. But as you can see, the map renders really, really slow. So 
We don't have anything to do left at the ice continent. We have a lot of stuff we have to do on the mountain ranges. Matango, for plot reasons, wants us to come back here. But we actually don't have to do that at all. I'm looking for a couple different cities. I think what I'm looking for might be slightly to the east, or it's in this mountain range. So I'm looking for, like, the advanced towns. It feels like this game was originally supposed to be much bigger, and from my understanding, this game originally was supposed to be on a CD versus, like, an SNES cartridge. But the deal with Sony kind of fell through for one reason or another. So there's not really too much we can explore that we haven't been to already. Just so Chad is aware. So we've actually seen most of the game already. Um... Okay, you can do an overhead view. Uh, I really have to relearn the controls. Okay, I can land by hitting that button. I'm gonna actually go up higher. What is this area? Oh, the temple ruins. That makes sense. So, things we will not do in the playthrough. We could go straight basically to the final dungeon and skip basically all the game. If I had two controllers. So, you might notice like in certain things, like whenever I go to use the whip, and we go to vault over to the other side. It's actually possible to interrupt that animation with things like spell casting or multiple characters that are controlled by you. And one of the side effects of that is that while we're in that animation to pole vault, I can flammy drum and I can basically skip all the checks you need to beat the game. Just hilariously dumb. So let's get reacquainted. Where is this? Is this South Town? Okay, this is South Town. Okay. So we're looking for one of two locations. Gold Town, which they mentioned earlier, and a place in the mountains. Um, as I said before, I'm fully expecting to get lost here. Is there anything in this mountain range? No. Interesting there's a cannon kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Can we go higher so I can see the map a little better? Yeah, that's a little better. So these are the falls, I think, at the beginning of the game. So that might be Gaia's Naval down there, and that might be the starting village. We need to worry about those. As I said before, I'm looking for something specific. So that right there in front of us is probably going to be our first real destination. But I'm looking for something before we do that. So we still have to find the other elementals. Okay, this looks promising. Yeah, this is really promising. I think this has one of the items that I need to beat the game. Ooh, 13,000. That was a lot of money. Ooh, here it is, chat. Circlet time. Hell yeah. I'm sorry, that armor costs literally all my remaining money. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. So, just so check and see. My intelligence right now is 36. Oh, 33 more defense on this character. What a lifesaver. It's now 41. We've essentially gained more than 5 levels worth of stats. And as you can imagine, that's kind of important for spell damage runs. So happy that we have that. I might eventually be able to buy one of these, game please. Ooh, regular candies? Oh, we're buying these immediately. We ran out earlier, and it's been such a pain without having the healing. The girl's extra MP is literally just safety heals at this point. Sadly, the girl can't get the circlet, so she'll never end up doing any important damage at any point. Let's take a look at her stats comparatively. Yeah, she's got 24 intelligence. So it's basically like she's like 10 levels under where the other character is. And that's why I don't bother leveling her magic. It's just not worth our time. Go down the mountain a bit and you'll see a cave. Monsters are dwelling. But it's the Palace of Darkness. Okay, and that's why I've been leveling Exploder. 
Monsters patrol the path to the peak. Hope stage Jacques okay. Well, we haven't been told who that was yet, but we'll find out eventually. Welcome to the Lofty Mountains. This is Mandala. I was impressed till you said you flew here. The mana tree grows in Pure Land. It's watching over us. Well, that's important to know for later. People from all over visit our ancient temple. Watts is here for some reason. Phew, that's some climb, huh? Uh, How much can you upgrade my javelin is the question. No, it's still beyond Fork of Hope. It's literally called like Devil's Fork or something. Jock and his disciple Jank live on the peak. Enjoy our lovely town. Okay, so we have to come back here for plot purposes, but we haven't been told to come here yet. So I don't think we could do what we need to do. Okay. So upwards is basically a dungeon. You know what? I might as well just heal since I'm here. And we do need to do that eventually, but I think we could do a couple other things first. I definitely do not want to redo the vampire fight. Get me out of here. Can't call Flammy in here. It would be funny if the dragon to just fly by and take us away. Oh, we glitched the UI again, chat. I think it is truly impossible to have a glitchless run. <laughs> just, there's too many random things that happen. It's like Soten. Just give up. So we're going to go here next, but I'm still looking for one other place. Where is it? Um, We could go back to Matango. I think this is Matango, given how many trees are here. I'll humor the game and talk to the king. Do you like riding Flammy? When you get lost up here, use the special powers. Press start to see the map. LR to change modes. Find the lofty mountains of the southwest, what you seek there. Visit me again, okay? I'm sure King Truffle can help you. I think he was just the delayed tutorial. It's held together by paper clips and prayers, you're not wrong. But anyway, that's it. That's all that happens if you come back to him. He just teaches you the things that we could have found out on our own, which we did. So, completely skippable, which is funny. Because I'd like to think if you bring him with you to the end of the game, he's just like, Oh, guys? Oh, uh, why, why am I in this palace? Guys? Hello? I love the bulging uh, fungus things on the overworld. Okay, so I need to, I believe, find an area that's in the middle of the sea. Now, there's also little Easter eggs here, chat, and I do not remember where they are. If chat happens to know what I'm talking about in the overworld, you, you could spoil it. I just don't know how to find them. So the, the developers put little creepy things in the overworld. I don't know if it's in reference to Final Fantasy 4 slash 2. It's hard to see when you're, like, really pulled back. Oh, what's this place? I think this might be another optional area. Yeah, this is an optional area. But, uh, there's, like, hidden things in the overworld. One I know is in a mountain range. One I know is in the sea. So if we were to fly around long enough, we will find it. A lot of people think the thing that we're about to witness is a drop side quest. I'm Picard, caretaker of the lighthouse. Northeast is Coral Reef, under it lies a sunken continent. The Mana Palace is really a switch that will refloat the continent. The power of the ancients must have been incredible. Anyway, we now know that the other place is called the Ancient Continent. It will be plot relevant later, but not right now. Oh yeah, it's very convenient. Instead of stars in the sky, they just have the floating letters. Okay, chat. So I might have to consult the map again, so apologies for pausing. I was trying to see- oh, actually, this might be what I'm looking for. Yeah, this looks like what I'm looking for. Like the little Turtle Island place. I think this is the Gold Town. No, it's not Gold Town. What is this place? Never mind, chat. I'm wrong. Ah! Hello. How'd you get here? I think this is another optional area. I don't remember having to come here for anything. Not making it here. Something on this blasted isle except those sea hare tails. Huh? You actually want one? Got a sea hare's tail. Keep it in my pocket. Um. 
I don't remember what that does, if anything. We'll find out later, I guess. Okay, so people who have escaped from the Emperor have lived here. Cool. We're married! Hate means nothing as long as there's love. Adults just don't get it. Uh, whatever you say. Move through here. I don't think there's anything important. I mean, I got sea hair's tail if I really need it for something later. How'd you get here? Ah! Oh, was it only those houses? Uh oh. Why does this place exist? Anyway, let's just leave. Oh, there's, oh, there's one more house I didn't see until it zoomed out. We gotta go back, sadly. I guess the overall was accurate in that there were five. Just not quite in the positions that they placed. There's one over here. What's in here? This here, this here island's really a turtle shell. Yep, we talked about that. Nothing ever happens here. Okay. Well, anyway, I think that was a thing we can visit, but doesn't do anything here. So we mostly know where one of the dungeons is. I still don't know where our other destination is. Let me take a look at the map. Where on the map am I looking? Okay, I think my destination is northeast then, relative to here. So we know there's a dungeon here. I'm not gonna go to it yet. Our main objective is here eventually. We're gonna do something first. So we're gonna do like side dungeon thing, and then we go here. Then I guess I could check out the, the uh, snow to the north and then go southeast from there. I guess that's fine. The face I'm looking for might be in here, something like that. I don't think it shows up on the map normally. You'll understand when you see it. Oh, you know what? I know what this is. No, no, no. We can't interact with this yet. Uh, southeast. That looks much more promising. I think this is what I'm looking for. So there's another dungeon here we could deal with. Chat will never guess why this place is called Gold Town. It's too expensive to live here. King Mammon sealed off the lighthouse at the edge of town. The tower key was stolen by a spy from Tasnica. Caught him in South Town. The key was never found. What's in that tower? Where did King Mammon find all this gold? Okay, since we heard about the stolen key, I think we can now do something later. Welcome. What am I saying? I don't want to deal with you. Damn. Shot down, chat. <laughs> I was using this place, so... How does Watts beat us here? Chat, he's good. Yeah, if we were not, if we were going for every armor upgrade, by the way, I think it would cost us like almost 80k at this point to get all the upgrades. Just like hilariously way too expensive. Island sinking under the weight of gold. Many have left here and have gone north to the ice country. I think that means the ice country looks a little different now. I'm looking for a very specific thing. Please be here. Well, that's 88. Oh, it's 8,800. Oh, no. We're off by like 300 gold. Oh, please tell me I can sell stuff. Oh, I really don't want to have to come back here. Where we have some things I think we could sell, right? Still? Maybe? Oh, that's not going to be enough. Oh, that's not going to be enough. Oh, that's so sad. Do I really got to get rid of my couple wishes? I don't think anything else will give me enough money. I can't get rid of power risk, because replacing that would be annoying. I could get rid of the armor the sprite is wearing, but it would be kind of counterintuitive. Oh, I think I have to sell two cups of wishes. That really sucks. 
That was way more expensive than I thought it was. His power wrist I don't think would have sold for 200 plus, sadly. So we got 31 extra defense. We check out the intelligence now. 46. So more than double the girl's intelligence. I could sell the power wrist, I guess, if I want. <sighs> so unfortunate. Yeah, see, that would have only been 100. I needed 150. This would have been 100. I'm going to leave this for now in case I want to level something uh, between streams. I don't have quite enough to replace it. So we can't go to the temple because we know something has been stolen. Is it you that I gotta talk to? How could it be stolen by... Oh. Person just teleported over there. Okay, so that line of dialogue is all we needed to see. So we can't do anything here until we get the tower key, which we can. Um, I think it's northeast. No. Um. Is this what I was looking for? E yes, yes it was actually, I think. If this is North Town, this is where I want to be. And by North Town, I think I mean I actually need to go to South Town. Let's close, okay. I'm close to where I need to be. So let's go get the key because I will absolutely forget about it. And that one line of dialogue, you have to remember that the other person has a box. We need to talk to them about it. Um... Hmm. That doesn't seem right. How do we get to South Town? Or do I just have to park like way over here? Because this is not the right place. Oh, he looks so demonic when I go on the menu. Okay, chat, the real, <laughs> the real guessing game begins. Where is South Town? You would say it's south, but I don't see where it would be, according to this. Uh... What's over here, by the way? Oh, this whole thing counts as South Town? Wow, that overworld graphic is really deceptive. Can we talk about that? That did not at all look like a town. Has been was caught stealing a secret key on the gold aisle. Look, here it is, found it in his things. Godly exchange it to have him back. Here, it's yours. I'll get my revenge. Well, hope you remembered she had a box, or else you would be stuck forever and ever and ever. So we have 19 MP on the sprite, that's not too bad. We basically just need to get an easy dungeon out of the way. Hmm. So we need to go, I think, east? I'm looking for something in the mountains specifically. No. Uh, yeah, this should be it. Also, we haven't saved in a while. I'm gonna save, just in case. We're gonna save in this town, and then we're gonna go do the other dungeon. Basically, my thought process is this. We need to get an easy seed, so that way we could begin leveling magic, and then we'll do uh, another thing. I didn't mention it before, but there's a couple points in the game where if you die, it's not a game over. 
Uh, one of them is anywhere in the Ice Palace is not considered a game over. I think because it's from the standpoint that it's Santa and he doesn't want to kill you. And the other happens to deal with Jacques, so I'll mention it again when we get there. Yeah. Oh, I remember these flowers. They're horrendous. I don't look forward to dealing with them in the future. I'm just curious how tough these enemies are relative to me. I mean, look how much damage they're taking. They're at the point where if I don't do charge attacks, I basically don't kill anything. It's fine. You can remain on fire. It doesn't really impact my strategy at all. Oh, I actually got a kill there. GA level. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, so I think I set them to, like, just the perfect amount of aggressiveness. Where th oh, there it is. So, Chan. We'll we'll do a little save. We'll we'll do a little we'll do a little save. I don't like doing it mid run, but I'm going to show you something. So, Chan, I got I got a little spoiler for you. What do you think happens when you cast magic and it reflects? It repels, as you might think. Did you hear that? Numnu and the protagonist leveled by killing the girl. So if you're trying to level really quick in this game, uh, your characters count as XP. <laughs> so if you kill them with wall, it's sometimes the most efficient means of leveling in the game. It's really stupid, uh, but I'm not going to save that because that I feel like is a glitch just outright. But anyway, if you're looking at the power level, just ice spam yourself to death. And just hope it doesn't hit the sprite. Well, anyway, there's there's your little fun fact. You can get insane XP that way. Actually, what am I doing? I have to go this way, I think. Hmm. Although every time I see the wall, I'm like, oh, I want to kill my character so bad. <laughs> That's all I think about. That I found out as a kid. I did not need to look that up. That was really stupid. Thank you. thousand gold okay we definitely needed money so that's fine please come over here why are you running the wrong way please i don't want to play as the sprite because their hitbox is pretty huge it's actually bigger than the boys and the girls that i didn't know until much later like you think smaller character smaller hurtbox nope get wrecked fool so that character is deceptively hard to stay alive with. Yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I think that... Also, their their range on the hug me attack is like actually bonkers broken. I just don't understand what it is. If, you, can, you can put the word infinite, I would believe you. Num new level, that's good for us. What's up here? Oh. Did you see it hit me even though they were facing the wrong way? Did you see that? I remember you. We need money, so these things have to die. And if we happen to level while we're doing it, it's kind of nice. Wait, there's nothing to whip to. Wait, did I do something wrong? Uh-oh. Uh... Question mark? That should have been the way to go. Hmm. Well, let's go figure out what I didn't hit. <laughs> I'm sure there's a switch somewhere. Could even just be like over here. We did step on a switch earlier.
Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know what? Maybe when we're in the other room. Hold on. I'm overthinking it. Maybe when we were in the other room here. Sadly, this is going to cost me more MP. Oh, thankfully we're tanky. Underneath one of the enemies might have been what I'm looking for. Ooh, our damage is actually still pretty good with the boy. Oh, or maybe not. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to cast a spell because we need to get freeze up. I missed something, chat. Worst thing that happens, because there should have been like a thing I could have pole vaulted to. Maybe I have to step on the switch that's down there and it opens it up, but how did we get to that other switch? I didn't see a way to do that from where we were. So fortunately, I don't need that ma much magic in order to proceed. I Maybe I had to do what was on the right side. Go backwards slightly just in case there's an easy switch I missed. Actually, you know what? It's faster for me to do this at this point. So I thought I stepped on the switch that was in the upper right. Um, let me go through here. Go through the middle. Oh, there's just a chest in here. Love orb. Too bad we're not leveling it. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. I think I glitched the chest. I glitched the chest. Chat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I accidentally duped the chest. That was not intentional. My bad, chat. I, I did another unintentional glitch. My bad. I left the room while I was opening the item before it can completely leave. So I duped it. My bad. Um, <laughs> just... <laughs> just just pretend just pretend I got everything I needed. <laughs> just we'll move on. We'll move on, chat. There was a path over here I didn't take. Did I have to come over here? Oh yeah, see there's something I have to do here. Chat, it, it is just like surprisingly really easy to glitch the game. <laughs> um, I didn't mean to dupe it there. Oops. Uh, I swear you can interact with this. Do I have to charge up or something? Uh, I'm not remembering chat. So like, I think if we somehow destroyed this, we might be able to go forward. I don't think I could target it with anything. But again, game, please stop. Please stop that. I'm not menuing on purpose there. I don't think we can punch kick it. We can't ax it. There's no equivalency of the Morning Star in this game. Hmm. Did I go upwards, though? I did. Hmm. So I don't know what to do with that wall. I might have to think about it. Maybe it'll come to me as I go through. Oh, there's another door over here. Oh! Yeah, now I can cross, I believe. Oh, you can't cross from here? Interesting. Num new level. You know what? This is actually not a bad area to level. Most of these enemies are pretty easy to abuse from a distance, even though their ability to hit you from afar is ridiculous. What level are we up to with whip? Only level two? Hmm. No news level, weapon skill leveled up. This is actually really good because I wanted to show off a glitch, by the way. With whip level four, we're almost there. I will make another save, I think later. So that way we can show up yet another glitch later. Oh yeah, that's, that's easy. Oh, that's easy weapon XP. You love it. <laughs> Chat says this game, yeah, exactly. You love it. Okay, so it's faster, I think, just to use the rope then. I thought I could destroy the wall, but maybe I can. Because I think that gave me what I needed. 
Oops. Ooh, that's so fun. I can't say no. I can't say no to that kill. Question about this, though. Is there really no other shortcuts I can unlock here? Really isn't. That sucks. Hmm. Maybe I I forgot how, maybe never mind maybe I couldn't didn't need to warp I forgot how we got to the left side briefly maybe I just went here and then around yeah maybe I did this my bad <clears throat> I have to go right to go left my brain didn't process that until just now wow that did like no damage to us so you can already see like with just a couple of equipment upgrades like we're taking like hilariously less damage compared to earlier can you guys please come over here like Unironically, please come over here. Gotta be kidding me. I don't think I'm asking for that much. I just want them to follow my path. Okay, whatever you do, whatever you want. Gotta be kidding me. But do you see what I mean? Like, a lot of this is just kind of like microman. Like, why are you doing that? Stop that. <laughs> just stop going on the wrong path. I can't do anything when you do that. Bad game. Wave your finger, chat. Silly AI. I already get myself lost enough. I don't need their help getting getting lost. This one is okay, I'm gonna do the other path. Then I'm going to switch to oops, did not mean to do that. Then I'm gonna switch to Numnu. But yeah, I, I can I can glitch the uh chest. So as I said before, if there's a chest that's supposed to give you an item and you leave immediately before the box itself disappears, you dupe it. So oops. Okay, let me cross, please. Okay, now this should let me do something. Now it should open. Oh, now it opens a hole in the wall. Got it. So there was something I could do with it, but I had to step on a switch. Honestly, how much money did we earn from those kills? I'm at 1600? Okay, so these guys are apparently worth like a bajillion. So I can go rebuy my cup when we're done with this. I have so much money left over. I might go... Oh, you know what? There's another shop that I could go to. Ooh, let's go to the other shop before we proceed too much further. Because I'd like to have all the healing items in the game if able. So again, we're just getting more uses of freeze, and more levels potentially mean more MP, so Walnut's better. Uh, there's no way they're gonna properly do whatever I need them to do. Let's just have them freeze again. Plus it's good XP, as we saw earlier. Ooh, double chests. What's in one chest? Fairy Walnut won't fit. Oh. Can I just use one now? I mean, I don't need all four, so even if this turns out to be a waste, that's okay. Wow, that was... That was kind of unfair. Where was that RNG luck earlier when we needed it, by the way? Stupid am. Get away, demon card. I don't need you. Aw, oh, did you see me manipulate him? I turned backwards, so he hit me towards my destination. Checkmate, fool. I'm doing damage boosting for real. I feel like we are incredibly close to the boss. Speaking of which... Uh, the text went by really quickly. I'm pretty sure it said shade colon. I will test you! I was curious what the dialogue said there. Um, let's just spam Sploder. Don't feel like dealing with you. Just don't, just don't want to. So anyway, this is the boss where I said I kind of wanted to make sure our fire spells were leveled up. Energy 77 is pretty good.
Oh, I'm out of MP. Uh, can you stall then with Gnome? Just to buy me more time to cast more Sploder. Please cast Sploder. Please cast Sploder. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, chat, I'm like, come on. I'm not asking for much here. I did the other spell to stall. I think I just do four casts and he basically dies. Game, can you please not random inputs? It That was not me again, chat, by the way. Please don't do that game. I think this might kill. Oh, we did 9 and 9. Okay, we got we got damage capped. You know, casual things. We just damage cap while fighting the enemy. Don't mind me. Um, I'd really prefer not to walnut, but I'll walnut just in case. Yeah, I had a feeling that might not kill. Because we damage capped earlier. I'm gonna have her just heal herself just in case. It looks like it's dead. I'm just gonna do one more spell here. This should kill. Yeah. GG. Again, everything is hilariously easy compared to Vampire. <laughs> vampire, I fear, chat. That boss was horrendous. So we're we're past like the only hard part left in the game. So it's pretty much a free free shot to the end, as far as I remember. Aside from a vampire refight, in which we hope I don't run out of MP. I'm new leveled. She had leveled. We leveled. So we're at 22,000. I could afford more defense, potentially, for the protagonist. Javelin Orb. Nice. That might be what we need. We need one more of those, I think. Shade says, I am the spirit of darkness, an elemental of mana. You have defeated my dark servants. Take my powers as your reward. More importantly, Chad, we got a free temple, and I will absolutely take this temple. So that way we can begin leveling our magic higher. Receive the seed's power. Um... Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and rope out of here. So let's burn all of our MP, if we have any left. Assuming the enemies are still here. Oh no, it killed them all. That's unfortunate. Rip. That is kind of sad, though, that when you're done with the area, you can't go refight those. So you can't just... You'll have to find another group of enemies to, to wall yourself on, for example. So let's level her magic a little just because... And start leveling up... I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think we need Shade to kill anybody. I don't think I leveled up Shade at all. But you know what I am going to level up? I'm going to level up Ice. This Ice is OP. And whenever we can't do anything else with it, I might as well just try to get one more point in Earth. Earth is not bad. Earth is kind of like our backup as we travel. Um... Yeah, I don't think I actually use Shade for anything at any point in the game. I was trying to think about it, like, think about it this way. Like, how often are you going to fight something that has weakness to dark? I feel like the answer is never, and it would require, like, 50 spell casts for it to be useful. So, I don't think that's going to happen. And given that Freeze is the same MP cost, but it's already leveled, I'd rather just stick to Freeze, regardless of what the stats are. It's kind of like we'll get a couple of other spells coming up from the other ones, and we just don't bother leveling them. It's sad, but true. Ooh, we have so much more money now. Uh, I'm gonna buy a magical armor for safety reasons. Rebuy a couple of wishes. Get a couple walnuts. I forget, am I allowed to do something before the other boss? Hmm. Uh, thinking. I don't think I have to do the next thing yet. How close are you to leveling whip? Level three. Hmm. 
I can almost show off a glitch without needing to power level off stream. We're quite close. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, John. Let's save as I think about what to do. Oh, you can ignore that. Let's see. <laughs> I'm trying to think from the standpoint of where to go with it. I think what I can do. Game, please don't randomly D pad me. I think I can go back to the other location and be okay. So let me let me check the map again. I'll do the other map. So the problem with like what is this said before? I know where our last two destinations should be. I'm just thinking about so we're here. If I have to go back to Gold Town, that would be northeast of here. Hmm. I'm just deciding if it's worth doing it now or later. Hmm. I think it's technically open. It doesn't matter as much. For now, let's head to Gold Town. Because what this will mean is that I get another chance to level uh, additional... What's it called? Spell levels, maybe? Oops, sorry, I thought it was in the animation. So that way I can kind of get all my power leveling out of the way. I think that makes the most sense. I was just thinking about if there's anything else I wanted to do before then. So this is said before. You can see, like, I technically did it out of order, I guess. I know what the final one was. What What is the other one? That we're, oh no, Chad, I forget one of the elementals. Which one am I missing? So from meta reasons, I know there's Dryad, Luna. Question mark? I don't remember what the other one was. Oops. I should probably remember that. I played through Legend of Mana before. Oh well, well we should have the key so we could go inside now. Uh, game, game. Don't bend you randomly. Oh, she doesn't learn any... Interesting, she doesn't learn any shape magic. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, what I'm gonna do then is, as the other character... Let's just use ice to get through, because I need to level this anyway. These guys are horrendous. What is this? Okay. We need we need a new strategy. Let's fall back, regroup. Those wolves are doing a million damage to us. Holy. Holy chat. That damage is off the charts. Let's make sure I equip the thing that we had earlier. So we're going to double our defense on the boy. I don't think that's going to help us with survival with the other characters. Let's use the inn. Let's save here. Hmm. Okay, so. I did see we had Balloon on the girl. I think I'm just gonna have to use it here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I was thinking about using Ice Magic, but I really don't want these enemies doing anything. And the girl has no other purpose, so I might as well just make her burn her MP. On the plus side, if all I want to do is level a little bit here, we shouldn't be too far off base. I'm going to be spamming a lot of freeze magic, I think, in the next two boss battles. Can you take care of this? I'm assuming it'll work, but we'll find out, I guess. Another spirit orb. 
Please don't push them. Just get by them. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're gonna play it ultra safe here. There's another magic that I was looking to see if we had, but I guess it's on a different character. <sighs> don't do that, please. We basically get the ability to uh, transform and steal MP, and that will be when I feel very, very comfortable with the run. Oh, we just straight up go into the boss battle? That really sucks. That really sucks. Uh... Huh. Well, let's hope we don't die. She literally took 256 and died. Wow, that's something. Alright, we're spamming freeze, chat. Listen, I'm not dealing with this nonsense. Tiger boss is horrendous. I'm hoping I'm second damage appropriately here. So see how much damage we're doing. 5, 8, 9, that's not enough. Actually, this is fine because the boy's being eaten, so that means I get more uninterrupted casts. I'm actually completely fine with this. I can even heal him. Well, no, 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 I don't want to do that because that'll mess up my casting. Uh, we'll wait a little bit. So this is the strategy I wanted to do before, by the way, chat, where you have one character just purposely get sacrificed to the tiger god. And that way you can just keep spamming spells or doing whatever, whatever, whatever else you need during this. Uh, I might need to level air disco a little bit. Hopefully he died here. He did not. Thank you. Okay, let's just keep going. He's dying. Still not dead. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. Wait. No, no, no. Its head is gone. I think this is a fake explosion. The game is mean. The game is actually trolling. It's not dead. It's actually not dead. That is so rude. It has a fake death animation. That is so rude on so many levels. Wow. Actually, the game is actually trolling. All right, let's keep going. Well, fortunately, Freeze is level five, so this should kill it if I deplete all of our MP here. There we go. Oh, that was rude. That was rude. Rude, rude, rude. Boss down at least. Ooh, level up. Might have given me more MP. Boomerang orb acquired. Okay. So this chat has probably figured out there's more than one boss here. So I'm at 49 intelligence, not bad. Check out our weapon levels. Also, this is why I did the other place first, because now I have Undine level 5, and I'm going to be using something other than Undine for the next boss. So getting that other thing just let me use this boss for more XP, just so chat is clear why I went this way. So fortunately, I did not misremember. Axorb. Game really wants to make sure I'm level for later. Um, What's my magic at? Literally zero? Okay, let's use it there. Is there no indicator for the boss rooms? Nope. It goes, sucks to be you. Hope you didn't enter it. Check me. <laughs> then you die. Oh, no. Oh, there's wolves. <laughs> oh, I did not know there were wolves there. I was just casually doing whatever I wanted. Oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> the murder thing is here. Uh uh, I don't want to deal with that. Game, please go to the girl. Thank you. 
I must be still select. Oh yeah, I am still selected as the girl. I was wondering what was happening there for a second. We're gonna cast a spell. I'm gonna switch to the boy so I could get my menuing back in order. I just don't, I just don't want to fight them. They're the the wolves are horrendous. Oh, unfortunate balloon, balloon everybody, balloon him. I need to get by. Get me out of here. Balloon's level doesn't matter. It it still works. If it's going to work, it's going to work. Um, I'm kind of, I kind of want to kill you. He canceled my, he, he canceled my attack from that far away. What a god. All right, that's fine. Let's just leave. Anyway, Chad, hope you're ready for another boss battle. Uh, let's see. This time... I believe we just need to use lightning magic. So if you remember from last time, the Minotaur's weakness was Thunderbolt, and I don't think it changes here. And since I got to level Thunderbolt on other boss battles, I should do okay damage here. And again, to help with the cast times, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oops, I didn't mean to flame me. Let's use Midge Mallet on the Numnu. So that did 442, by the way, chat. Holy, that damage was insane. So it just takes about three casts to max damage, maybe two. So if I mix in some melee, I might be able to hit the cap easier. The girl is somehow alive. I guess her level's paid off, chat, I guess. I should probably give her a helmet at some point. I could give her circlet if I need to later, just for defense. Let's give some MP over here. I don't super care. What is game? Please stop, controller. I swear, chat. I swear, chat. <laughs> it has a mind of its own. It should be dead pretty soon, and hopefully the MP goes through. There we go. Nice kill. So because we had level 4 magic, that was a smooth experience. It was butter smooth. Had some weirdness where the MP took a little longer than it should have to restore to me, but that's fine. Bow orb, got it. So fortunately, at least, there's no more bosses. Now, this magic is one of the most broken in the game. <laughs> so let's welcome Lumina. The king was robbing me of my power. He was forcing me to make gold. My power should not be used by anyone but you. Take my powers before evil engulfs us all. Lumina's power gained. Let's talk about why this is one of the best things in the game. I believe only the girl has access to it. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Girl gets light, sprite gets dark. Game, please stop doing that. So... Lightsaber... is going to be one of the most... I, wait, is it lightsaber? No, 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 no. I'm thinking of something else. Never mind, disregard. But we do need this to progress later in the dungeon. This costs 8 MP. Oof. I need to remember that for later. So we need this for, I think, a couple puzzles. I don't care about the defense buffs. Seriously, chat, this controller is really annoying me. I'm going to try to get another Switch controller. It'll be my third one. I don't know why they all drift. Rip. <laughs> it's so silly. I'm like, I'm definitely not pressing anything, and it does whatever it wants. Calibrate doesn't work for people that were curious. It's just, like, way too sensitive, sadly. So, I think what I'm looking... Well, is it that? Actually, it might be that. I'm going to double-check between streams. It, it's, it, it's either lightsaber or something we get from the next one. I'll know when I, when I see it. If I see something that looks like a muscle flex, then it's that one that I'm thinking of. I wasn't sure if I was mistaking that between that and Secret of Evermore, which we'll play at some point. But essentially, uh, what we're looking to do is... Fun fact, I, it's going to be very hard to avoid this glitch, but essentially, when we need to power up our weapon, it's supposed to only be temporary in the final fight, 
but any buff at all will result in us getting uh, way... Oh, Dragon Helm is actually really good for us. I might just go buy this. We have a lot of cash. If we apply anything, it, it could be even our free saber, etc. When we have the final weapon of the game, uh, we can glitch it out. So we'll probably not be able to avoid that to some extent. I won't use the full power of it, and I'll bring it up again when we get to the end of the game. Uh, but yeah, there there's so many glitches, Chad. If, if it wasn't obvious before, it's very hard to not unintentionally glitch the game. <laughs> Like, I think I duped a chest briefly. It's possible it's stacked because I missed some from the other dungeons. That's also a mechanic that exists in this game. But yeah, the same premise. If we have two controllers, it's very easy to dupe anything in the game. So that's also why I banned myself from playing with two controllers. We could do whatever we want at that point. So let's save. I have... Oh, you know what it is. Oh, interesting. So we have two shrines left. We know where one of them is, but we can't do anything with it yet. I guess I should go back to the place they mentioned earlier. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I'm just thinking about it. Um, oh, then I can't showcase something else without grinding. You know what? We're not going to worry about that then. I was thinking about if I got fist up to level four before we went to the next place, I could technically skip something. The game stops you from doing anything important there, but I think that just requ I, I don't feel like doing that then. If we're only at level two, I don't feel like grinding an hour or so just to showcase a five second thing. So what we're going to do... is we're going to go the intended route then. So if you remember, there was a large desert. We're going to go back to the desert. There's also an ice area. So we want to go here, ultimately, where this giant puddle is. So you might remember there was kind of like a path we could go near the desert. But there's actually something I'm going to do first. Where is it is the question. I'll find it eventually, chat. I promise you. If I pick a direction, I will see what I'm looking for. Nope, we gotta go to that. We have to go to that later, unless I glitch the game. Um, I'm looking for the frost area or an easy place to get to Neko. Hmm. Check the map real quick. Oh, it's like north of us. Okay. Unless this was aiming the way. No, it's southeast. Okay. So it does rotate to fit what direction I'm looking at, I think. Which can... No. I don't get the globe. Show me Show me where this is normally. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, wait, that is actually not helping me. Where do I need to go? Where is the sunken continent relative to the snow place? Oh, they're like southwest of each other. Okay. Uh, are you what I'm looking for? No. Hmm. Not here. Is it here? Sort of. Yes and no. This is the right town, but I don't want to go to the town specifically. Let's rebuy these since I'm here. They're cheaper here. Okay, everything is maxed. So believe it or not, chat, there's yet another glitch. I know, big shock. Who would have thought this game has a glitch? I need to find this for later. So if you remember, there's kind of like the the cat was by itself in the frost area. I'm looking for that. Am 
might be... Or maybe you're not allowed to land at that one. Hmm. I think I'll double check between streams. I'm gonna go this way regardless because this is how I know how to get to the other place. Oh, I love the music doesn't cancel here. Interesting. So yeah, I'll, d I'll double check between streams. That'll be a fun little thing to show off. You can really break the game with it if you learn how to do it. I just need to know where on the map I have to go. I'm looking for, I think, this screen specifically. It's possible this is literally it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another save at the bottom here. For later. Oh. You don't sell the super items anymore? Oh. Oh. Well, that leaves me disappointed. Well, that's disappointing. Never mind. Hmm, I wonder where I get the honey then, because I do want that before the end of the game. Interesting. I didn't realize you stopped selling it, or maybe it's because of, like, I don't know. I don't know why he stopped selling it. What a jerk. So that, that begs a question. If I go back to an earlier area, does he still sell it? Hmm. I don't want to go there. Uh... Guy's navel's there. I'm looking for... That place looks horrendous. Might be this place? Find out in a moment. Mm, no, this is not accurate. I'm looking for an echo shop by itself. This is not it either. Where is it? So this is Gaia's navel. Is it here? Close enough. <laughs> right, Chuck? Good enough. So does he still sell the healing item from here? That's what I want to know. At least we can see a power difference. Like, we are at least one-shotting the enemies here. Do you sell what I'm looking for? Okay, so you do sell. I could go buy the barrel now if I want to. It doesn't really serve any purpose. I really want these. These are kind of a way that I can heal a character that's on a verge of death without using the girl's healing magic, and it's also a healing item. So obviously the more of these that I have, the better. Making sure everything is maxed. I can buy the barrel just because. Let's let it show it off in the playthrough. So we're gonna go ahead and barrel. The same concept, if you barrel somebody, they dodge the damage. But they don't have the same ability to do anything, like the mid hammer. So it's not super useful at this point in the game. Also, it appears to be a, just a one of use. Which is not really worth it. But we can uh, fly while we're like this, which will be interesting. Womp. Yeah, not really worth. I thought it was a reusable. Again, it's not an item I normally play with. But anyway, uh, we now have to go back to the desert, which was... Somewhere. I'm gonna go with somewhere. Hmm. Ice Country was by itself. I go northeast, this is fine. 
Hmm. Hmm. There we go. Found it eventually. Let's try to land around here and see where it puts us. So as soon as you attack, it goes away. So if you remember from before, yeah, I think I got too far in the game. If you remember before when we were here, there was like a little gap you couldn't normally do anything with, like there was a sand pit. But we don't have to worry about that anymore. It's gone now that we have flight. Let's talk to you real quick. Welcome to Karen's Terry. Next stop, Moon Palace. A lot of nothing in the palace. Don't get lost. The boat's a bit unsteady. I'll wait here. <laughs> That's what you think, fool. Okay, Chan. Time to show off another glitch. Perish. Helpful companion. Oh, he doesn't die instantly. I don't know why he's targetable. Anyway, goodbye, boat boat rider. <laughs> we call that checkmate, chat. And okay, we mostly just want to avoid things if we can. Making some progress. Or maybe I just exited. Hmm. No! Oh, the magic is worth the hero. I don't care about that. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I think it's supposed to be Charon. <laughs> like we took the boat to the underworld. Hmm. So, I th maybe I have to go, like, up and left or something. It's definitely, like, up. I just don't know where it is specifically. Uh, we'll find it eventually. <clears throat> no, not what I'm looking for. Hmm. There has to be, like, a very easy trick to going where I need to go. So there's like an orb I have to hit. Okay, let's reset since I messed it up. We'll figure this out, chat. I swear to you. So let's think, chat. <clears throat> it's going to be like one of those movement puzzles. Kind of like if you remember, what's it called? <laughs> when we were doing Terranigma. It might be just like hard upper left and then left maybe or something. It's definitely like above the start. It's just like where above the start is it? Oh, it's right here. Never mind. Way easier than I thought to do. Anyway, I believe we have to use Lucent Beam on it, which is why we had to go to the other place first. That's another attack spell for the girl. And that's the whole temple. Hi, Luna. The Moon Spirit have awaited you. Yeah, that, that dungeon kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. It literally just wastes your time. I don't think there's a hint as to what path specifically does something, other than that there is a hint that there's something in the temple. But it's like, anyway. So sad this place has grown, but enough. Take with you my powers. Go. Mana is fading. In Luna's powers. Oh, there it is. There it is. There, There's our broken spell. So I believe it's this. I don't think it's Lunar Boost. I think it's Moon Energy. So the way this works, I don't know why all three of these are buffs, by the way. But the way this works is um, I believe it impacts our critical hit damage. But it has a very interesting mechanic combined with the final weapon of the game. So we now have the best spell in the game officially. Can I just rope out of here? This this dungeon is lame. Not gonna lie. It definitely feels like there was meant to be more and they just didn't do it for one reason or another. Do you know what I mean? Like, why bother making just two rooms into the temple? It's very anticlimactic. 
So we'll show that he's okay, chat. Leaving so soon. Come again. Um, can't call Flammy here. I mean, I guess I can level my spells a little bit before we go forward. So, I'm just trying to think if there's something else I should do. Oh, you know what? There, I think there is one more thing we could do now that I think about it. I don't think there's... I don't know what the hint is to do this. But if you remember, we're technically supposed to be hunting down the Emperor. We should probably go find him before I do anything else. So I'm going to keep leveling this magic. This freeze OP. I literally love this spell so much. It's going to save us so much time later. Um, I can make her level Lunar Magic, I guess, if I want to. The fact that it exists is good enough. Yeah, see this here? That right there. That's what we couldn't skip before. I can make her do... Luna, just because? Now new level, nice. Chie level. Again, we're getting little bits of money as we go forward. More importantly, we're getting a chance to uh, level our damage spells a bit. Honestly, Freeze is going to be one of our main spells for basically ever. The other spell that I want to consider... Is this where I get MP Absorb? It is. Okay, let's level this. This is going to make my life so much easier, Chan. Candy won't fit. That's fair. I think this is all we need to do to get to the town. Just go up one more. No, I'm off by one. Oh, there's actually no enemies there to absorb. Yeah, and we now have a way to replenish our MP. And based off of, I think, the enemy's magic defense as well as their max MP, that'll determine what kinds of things we could get from the enemy. But one other thing we could do to impact that is that if you use the change form from this, even though it's expensive, if you change multiple enemies' forms, it will generally lower their magic defense. So you end up actually getting more MP than usual. Like, see, that was worth 13 MP. So now the sprite can basically just dunk on everything. Also, we glitched the background briefly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. My bad, chat. I keep glitching the game. It just keeps happening. So anyway, we're just going to do this for a little bit. Oh, I didn't target the right one. That's unfortunate. Girl, take it, take it to the face. She'll be fine. I mean, look at that. 12 MP. That is a lot of MP. I think Jack can agree. Basically, I have infinite MP on some areas. And all I need to do is make sure my damage spells are actually strong enough to do something. I'm gonna level freeze a little more. And it's gonna be my go-to spell for a while. So you can see how unfair that is. I basically could just do whatever I want to them and there's not much they could do back. So if I need to level any magic, we now have the best thing in the game for it. Uh, why isn't... How far am I from leveling this? I feel like I should have leveled just then. Question. 
All right, we are very close. So I'm gonna go until we level, and then I'll get a little extra in moon magic. So nothing else that might le lead to us absorbing more MP. But again, since I'm not as familiar with the end game in terms of uh, like their stats and stuff, I'd rather play it a little safe. This should be the town, right? Okay. So we could come back here and rest when I'm ready, and then we could fly from here. Let's go ahead and get our magic to level six at least. Okay. Could use her to maybe slow it down a little, but I don't think it's going to react in time. Okay. So we now have Undine at level 6, so we have a very strong spell for things that don't have any particular known weaknesses. And we've also managed to level Lunar Magic's XP up a little bit, but not quite enough to level to an actual level. The girl's fire magic is technically also getting XP, but it's pretty irrelevant to the run. So anyway, I think I have to reload from Matango, I think, if I want to showcase the other glitch with the gloves. Uh, let's see. Can we flame me from here? I think we can. We have 23 MP. That's not bad. So again, now we have a means to basically blow up everything between us and the destination, as long as it has MP. There are some enemies that have really, really high MP, and we're not going to be able to do much about that. I think this is what I'm looking for. Land here real quick. No one's allowed now. This is the castle of Tasnica. Oh, maybe we can't do anything here yet. Hmm. We can't seem to glitch by them, sadly. Okay, well, we have to come back here eventually. Hmm. Was there something I forgot to do? I don't think there was. I didn't think I had to do anything with the trials yet. Hmm. Did I forget to talk to an NPC? Is another question. That could have happened. I feel like that should have advanced the plot there. Just let me think. What do I need to do? Uh, we went through there, we went back, we got the key, we did these. <laughs> Thinking, processing, what did I not do? Went into the Shade Temple, we went to the Light Tower. We didn't do the trial, but I was going to do that later. I mean, if I don't have anything else to do, I guess I could go to the trial. I didn't think there was anything we could do yet here, but I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Weird. Let me take a look at our stuff just to make sure I didn't miss something. Stats. Do six. Hmm. Oh, something went wrong. Uh oh, chat. <laughs> uh oh, chat. When when did I not touch a seed? Unless it's per character. Let me check. Maybe it's per character. Six. Oh, did I not touch the seed at the, uh, the house we were just at? It's possible I didn't touch it. I was not super paying attention. <sighs> I think I didn't. Because that last one is definitely shade. I think we can all agree. That last one is definitely shade. So we have Undine, Gnome, 
Sylph, Salamando, Shade. I don't know what the other blue one was. It would have been maybe Lumina's? But I don't think we got Luna's. Damn. Oh, I messed that up. My bad, chat. As I said before, it's very easy to uh, forget certain things. We gotta go back there. I think we got the thing, but I didn't activate the seed. Ah. So that's why maybe something isn't triggering that I'm expecting to trigger. So let's go back and correct it. Um, Where is the desert place relative to this? On the ice place. Hmm. Okay, I found the beginning con- No, that's not the beginning continent. Uh, da, 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 here we are. My bad. I counted that. I'm like, I'm expect- We should be at seven. Huh? Why did it put me here? I'm actually confused. Why did it just put me there? Shouldn't it put me- Was I like too close or something? That's not where I landed. Yeah, let's try this again. There we go. Uh, how does that work with the revisit then? Guess we'll find out. So the final, the final temple we haven't been to yet, which is fine, but we should be at level seven. It, it didn't impact our skill leveling, fortunately. We got a little lucky on that front. Or else I could have been wasting a lot of time. But I think I, I think I got the ability. I just didn't touch the seed. Again, like if we were doing modern games, that should have been automatic. I think chat would agree. That should have just been automatic for me to receive this. Uh, now let's check it out. We should have seven. Okay, now we're looking good. Okay. I'm assuming we can't flame me from here. Okay, so we do have to take the boat right back because I don't think we could flame me here either. I guess this to stop the game from glitching out. As you know. <laughs> it, it's so stable already, chat. So very stable. Glad chat agrees. Okay, now I wonder if something will happen if I land there. But what we could do in the meantime, why don't we... A little bit of... Do I really need these other spells? I guess I need... Uh... No, I'm not going to use light magic from the girl. I'm just going to level freeze, I think. And we're just going to go ahead and just re-MP up. Actually, speaking of which, let's change the form. So I just turned him into random enemies, which is interesting. Ooh, no MP from them at all. That was unfortunate. So just the underground things had MP. As I said before, not every enemy has MP, so it's not as abusable as you would hope it would be. We'll check their base forms real quick. Yeah, didn't get anything. Okay, so these things will give us 4 MP, we know from earlier. Or apparently 14 total, that's kind of nice. We change form them. No, it doesn't look like that. We'll try one more absorb. Okay, I think I got all my MP back. It was, you know, we, we made use of our coming back here a little bit, I guess. Ooh, that glitched out little drum. I like that. I pulled it out while my spell was cast. It turned green and... Weird neon colors. Um, Damn, now I forgot how I got to the other place. That is the downside. When you have a flow and you just happen to go the way you want to go, 
and then you totally forget how to go back there. Um. Oh, it's here. Okay, now can I do something if I land here? Okay. Do you see what I mean, chat? Like, I don't know if the game ever tells you to come here. Like, I don't know. Listen, when I played this growing up, I just wandered around the map randomly and went, oh, I can go here now. Cool, I guess. Right, chat? Like, I don't know what the plot lead-in was for this, to be honest with you. But anyway, we're in Tasnica, and Gemma's here for some reason. Bandit, I hardly recognize you. What's up? There's an Imperial spy in the castle. He's after the king. Beware. Okay. Where's the spy? Where's the spy? Hmm. I think we're supposed to go in the middle for plot progress, but what's up here? Where's the spy? Everybody wants to find the spy. Can you get out of the way? Jerk. <laughs> Where's the spy? Where's the spy? Ooh. We're going on a, like, a little wonderful journey here. What is going on? Where's the spy chat? What was the point of all those rooms? Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to be this told to come here. Power. Show us Boldy. As I said before, even growing up, I never I never understood why this happened. But we need once we have seven of the eight seeds, the main plot can continue. Like maybe I was supposed to do the trials first, but even growing up I didn't do it first. He's watching the king. Oh, I didn't talk to the other guy. Who are you? You must be spies. Wait a minute. Silent spy, take them away. Wait, he's not the king. Ha! Using the king, I could have ruined this realm. His name changed to the king, question mark, by the way. I failed. Take this. What have you done? You're probably at the castle entrance. Think I'll have you destroy the king. Think again. Um, I'm just gonna use freeze magic. I don't know what your weakness is, but just perish. You nice saber all you want. Death is coming for you. Oh, can we equip an MP absorb you? There we go. I got MP up. As he died. That was disrespectful, chat. Did you like that disrespect of MP restore after I killed him? Sir, snap out of it. Oh, where am I? What happened? That was disrespectful. See that? We don't even have to use an in now. Freeze only cost me four MP to use twice. Although I guess I lost one MP, but it doesn't really matter. One MP is one MP. Well done, your highness. The Mennonite has beaten the spy. I can't believe such a thing could happen. I was worried when I heard some kid of the sword, but now I'm not. Allow me to give you this. We now have the sword orb. Okay. So this is getting... We're doing a little better, I guess. You can ask where the spy is. Gemma was the commander of the king's troops. His best friend was the hero, Siren. When Siren fell in battles, Gemma stepped down and never fought again. Miria is really making a name for himself. The Republic and Pandora are allies. Something evil about that dark stalker, <laughs> you think? We used to have a strong navy, but now only our sand ship is in service. No more Imperial spies will get in here. Oh, do I have to talk to Gemma? I actually forget. You've learned much, but you can't rest yet. You still have to learn what true courage is. The Empire's being this aggressive, it means they almost have the fortress. I'll have to fight the Empire whenever I can. Let's now find the Say Jacques. From him, you'll learn true courage. Okay, now we can do the trials. So it was mandatory we come here first, or else I don't think we were allowed to continue. King says, Gemma's studying the power of mana. Anyway. Empire will never take this castle. They literally took the king, like, for free. You're in the heart of the castle. 
Also, the and castle are not spaced correctly. So she said it like the cat soul. Hey everybody, it's the mana knight. Hey! Oh, how do I get down there? Was there an under? Did I just go too high up? Do you love the castle? Hey, what? Oh, what? Wait, what? How do you reach this? What tomfoolery is this? Why is there a room with what? Am I am I missing something? Wait, how do you reach this? Genuine question. Is there like another door? Oh, you know what it is. Hold on. Is this still is this like BS hidden wall stuff? Oh, it's BS hidden wall stuff, of course. Is there an NPC down here? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? Is there seriously an NPC down here? Please get out of the way if you're down here. I wasn't able to do what I needed to do. There we go. <laughs> the part of the castle lady's in the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> what, a, what a troll. I saw that she disappeared, by the way, but <laughs> it's like, come on. Oh, I could get another ring here if I need it. Uh, battle suit. Dragon Helm's good defense. I need a little bit of money. I don't want to go too crazy. We need to get two more weapon upgrades, which I think I'm going to price this around 5,000 or so. But I'm going to take a look at our general equip. So I have Tiger Cap, but I could upgrade to Dragon Helm, which I forgot to equip earlier. Oops. I'm never going to switch out a Power Wrist. He already has Magical Armor. Unless I sell the other things. I don't have a purpose for it. Dragon Helm, I think, is one of the best ones that I can purchase, to be honest. I don't think that's really going to change. I could give her a helmet, maybe. Make my life slightly easier. I'm never going to use her magic for damage, so I could see if she has a basic armor or something, or a headpiece that she can wear. Oh, she can also wear a dragon helm? Yeah, let's give her a dragon helm. She needs to get way tankier, to be honest with you. Oh, this person had royal jam. Oh, I didn't need to find Echo. Damn, I forgot this guy existed. I'm gonna save myself a lot of time. Rip. All right, chat. Didn't need to find Neko. This guy had everything I needed. So she went from a three defense helmet chat to 63. So her taking 60 less damage, I think we can all agree, is a massive, massive upgrade. She already has an okay armor. It's like half of the way there, and her wrist piece is pretty bad. sell another piece since we're here. I should still have enough for what I need for the end of the game. I'm not gonna go too more crazy. I think this is probably good enough. Yeah, that lady's such a troll. Give me a second. Hopefully it'll come back in a moment. We can't connect to your device. Yeah, no, no, duh. Stupid thing. Give it, let's give it a minute. <laughs> I, at least it acknowledges there's something wrong with it this time instead of telling me that it's not there. Oh, did it reconnect this time? Cool. Okay, well, let's proceed. Hmm, I'm gonna have a lot of not fun editing this later, but it is what it is. I don't think there's anything else we could do. I'll talk to a couple of people. Seriously? Man, why is it so bad this week? Well, I'm now officially stopping until this proceeds, so let's go to a save point somewhere. Talk to a couple people here. Tiny little sprite, you're the tiny one! Hmm. Sunken continent rests under the coral. The Empire's trying to raise it. Only the world's mana siege would seal the continent stand in their way. This castle's like a big town. I guess. Saren, our hero, taught us to live in the castle. We all moved in 15 years ago. Anna's power is waning. 
Yeah, there's something very unstable with the connection. So chat, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try restarting. So we're gonna pause. Well, anyway, um, we already know what to do plot wise. So they told us to go to the other place. So let's go to the other place. So hopefully with this router restart, we'll be good enough to clear at least the trials. That's the last major thing I'm gonna do. Well, I guess I could do like, if it behaves itself, we'll do one more thing after the trials because it's still kind of early. I do have an early start tomorrow, so I don't want the stream to go super late either. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about our stats. Like, defense on the boy is 188, the girls is 134, the sprites is 130. I think that's fine. Sejak lives high atop the mountain. This temple dates from the Mana Fortress War. Orbs inside store data from that period. The ancients called them... videos, I think. Oh no, not videos. That girl always brings flowers. Hi, have you come to meditate? Don't bug me while I'm thinking. Um, um. I don't remember what this place was about. This is this is this. Deep there, you can see the mana bees. Just moments ago, it hit the fortress. Oh, it's coming this way. We're going off the. Beep. Evening news. At dawn, Lorma launched missiles at the Empire, which had threatened to take Lorma's, uh, Lorima's capital by nightfall. Oh no, Chad. We have orb videos. We're getting lore. Who was Abe Lincoln? Correct. That makes you our new champion. There you go, Chad. Abe Lincoln is real in the Mana universe. Fun fact. Oh my. Oh, my heart breaks when she's not around, and I miss her. Goodbye. Gazaz is this chat, obviously. Apparently, this is our universe. We must respect the use of mana energy. What utter nonsense. We're using it up. Huh. You can't use up mana. Huh. You just don't understand. Gazaz is this. Beep. This is that Zega. This one's broken. And the final video. Whoa, exploded. So there you go, chat. It was Abe Lincoln all along. Damn you, Abe Lincoln. <laughs> oh, there's a door back here. So obviously this area is not required to beat the game, but we might as well show it off. Say Jacques will not see you unless you show him your will to overcome yourself. Okay, it's referring to the trial. We'll fly from here, though. What an honestly good twist of the story. There you go, Dango. Okay, so... Chat might have guessed our destination to meet the sage is actually here. I will do another quick save. So I could come back here later. So sadly, chat, we never ended up getting whip level 4 before coming here. It was technically doable. But unless I start doing a lot of whips, I don't think we'll get it. I mean, I guess I can make them aggressive to try to learn it, I guess. I did unfortunately level a lot from the other bosses. Let's make them slightly more aggressive. And see if this works out a little better for their movements. I don't want them at max aggressive. Except for the boy, the boy's fine. Honestly, their damage is pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. It's possible I need to level up the whip orb in order to get it higher. Given that it didn't level there, I think that happens to be the case. Unfortunate. So I'll come back and do that another time. Wait, it just connects to here? Wait, these two areas were connected? Wait, what? I don't think I ever knew that. Huh. 
Interesting. No more you learn. Oh, I could have saved myself from the... Actually, no, status effects I don't think I could dodge. Damage I can dodge, status effects I think I can't. I mean, I guess I could just go level up Whip. I, I guess since I'm here, I guess there's no reason for me to not do that, I suppose. Level 4 Whip is, I think, the thing that I need. So now it's a chain whip, so now we're living our Castlevania dreams. M fork. Okay, so we need a thousand more gold. Between now and the next javelin orb, and we could get the item that I want to bully some enemies with later. As I said before, it gives automatic balloon. And you saw how powerful balloon was for skipping enemies. And since our weapons are actually decently leveled, and we've not been skipping too many levels at this point. Our AI companion should actually be able to whoop them pretty good. Seriously, it disconnected again. <sighs> Chad, I am so sorry that it is like this. I feel really bad, because it's like, there's nothing I can do, sadly. So I'll move forward for now. Curiosity, what's your whip level at? 18? Not too far off. So if I have to grind this between streams, it's not too bad then. Ooh, don't still knock me. Okay. So as long as we level this up, it'll help me in the future. I don't need this for XP. I'm just doing this literally for the weapon levels. Should be dead here. Wow, 198. So our crit damage is still insane. You know what? I got some time to do stuff. Let me, uh, cast, what's it called? Earth weapon on us so we could kill faster. There we go. That is so unlucky. Wait, it says I'm unconscious, but I wasn't unconscious. What? Do I have immunity to sleep flower or something from something I have? Huh. The more you know, I guess? I'm gonna hit 32. She hit level 20, 32. Oh, unfortunate. I did hit him while whipping across, which is always funny. Yeah, then I don't need to level as much then, if I want to showcase something. And the charged weapon will always do more damage. So even though the, the sprite is not using the power wrist for more damage, your damage should still be okay-ish. And then we're just going to check on the weapon stats. So it's 50% it's of the way there. So honestly, I might even be able to get it in this stream, as long as I be more aggressive with melee. Which is how the game is intended to be played. Wait, Neko's there. Hey, Neko wasn't there before, was he? Uh... I swear he did not spawn in when we first went through. It's possible I did miss him. I love mountain climbing. Need anything? Even save our game? Sure. Saving here would be super convenient for us, actually. So I could get my magic back if I wanted to. Okay. So we're almost at the trial. Of course, chat, there's another glitch. I've not practiced this glitch, so we might have to do it for next time. If I can't get it in, like, one try... We'll move on. 
I believe you could do it in with one player. You don't need two controllers for it. Oh, this guy is not getting hit by me. I don't think I got weapon XP there, because it dodged me. Yeah, we almost leveled up whip to showcase some nonsense here. Um How do we do it? <laughs> Let me think about this. Might be something like Do I face left or right? Let's let's figure it out together, chat. Okay, so I'll do a quick save here because I I can still showcase the other thing from here if I need to. Let me double check what the setup is for this real quick. I have it in front of me. All right, so we're we're going to go for it and if it works, then you know, we do whatever from there. I think it's something like I got to do something like this. No, I gotta be faster than that. So I need her in the right position. It'd be something like this. Oh, you gotta do it real fast, though. Ooh, I think I got it. Maybe? Before you sits his reverence, Jacques, I'm his disciple, Jack. Wow. Wow, that was not hard to do at all. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sequence break. Anyway, let's go back. Wow, that was way easier to do than I thought. <laughs> well, first try. Never did it before. That's hilariously stupid. I love it. Anyway, let's read the dialogue again. Hey, get out of here. Not in again. They say just we'll see you. 10 out of 10, chat. So I guess what happens... See something we weren't supposed to? I guess to explain it, AI ignores walls and anything that would normally block a player. So I guess while I'm in the leaping animation, because I talk to a character, it forces everybody to look at said character. But because they're mid-leap, the game gets a little confused and it bolts us very far in the opposite direction. Which was interesting. A nice little skip there. Anyway, before you sit his reference, shock, I'm his disciple, Jack. Zindra, whoa. Master speaks in the old tongue, allow me. You must undergo a test. Conquer the ones within and you'll find courage. Will you try? Sure. Right, good luck. So yeah, we could have skipped all that dialogue and I think most of the trial, to be honest. <laughs> it was, that was not hard to do. <laughs> Oh, oh, Secret of Mana, you never cease to amuse. Oh, I need her to attack, that's unfortunate. Hmm, I don't do any damage to these enemies, that's not good. Whoa, you're hunting me down, get away from me. Let's play as the girl for now. Okay, game, game, stop it. I'm not, there we go. <laughs> game controller more specifically. All right, let's go ahead and try to dodge this damage. Okay, let's move on. Another character that casts wall? Oh no, Chad, I could kill myself for XP. I want to say we mostly go to the right. Oh, I didn't go down far enough first. Unfortunate. Punished. Please get by them. Please, please don't get stuck. Okay, the whip out. So sadly, because of how much you use the whip and the axe, I'm just going to be leaving on them most of the time. They're not my favorite weapons. Like, I'm definitely not a fan of the axe in general, but spear, javelin... Whip's okay, depending on who it's on. I don't usually end up using bow, funny enough. 
I don't think it usually offers any interesting status ailments, so I kind of ignored it mid-game. In like a more casual playthrough. Please continue. Oh no, it spawned these. Oh, please get them out of here. Oh, we only take two damage now, so our defense is really good. That is a huge difference compared to the 50-something we took earlier. Oh my gosh. Took a couple wrong paths here, but I'm still generally going the right way at least. Trying to launch wolves at us. Get out of here. It begins. Win and you pass the test. Oh. There was a boss fight here? I don't even remember this boss. Uh-oh. Um... Oh, it's the other Miis. Oh, actually, you know what's kind of funny about that? I could just die on purpose. Now, let's die on purpose. So if your character dies at any point, the corresponding doppelganger dies as well. Which, I don't know if that is the actual real intended strategy, but that's what I'm going to do. So, sure. <laughs> right, chat? I guess we could bully not me. Do our best Persona impression and go, No, that's not me! Well, anyway, I guess I can level up some magic on him. Um, you don't have any MP because you're the boy. I guess I could do... Honestly, probably just Undine. We'll introduce him to the infinite. Did that just do one damage? Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. Does he not have any weaknesses? Huh. Maybe you are supposed to die to him? Honestly, I don't remember. I use Shade just to show it off. Kind of an interesting animation. Alright, so what we're gonna do... I'm just gonna unequip everything. We're gonna stare into the face of death. I'll leave Power Bracer on. Cool. Anyway, fight's over. So yay, we won, question mark? So do we, do we just leave? Unlike us, he has no weakness, it's true. We won? Huh? We're Jacques. <laughs> well done. When you put your hearts together, nothing can stop you. Your chat, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not sure how we were supposed to beat it, but that's how I beat it. <laughs> you will master the sword by joining courage, knowledge, and love. I'm Ja. The old man was an illusion. Why didn't you help us sooner? You weren't ready yet. Your ears could hear, but not your heart. I waited for you to find your inner strength. Go now. The Emperor seeks to raise the sunken land. Top the quarry will find the tree palace. Below lies the mana fortress. Okay. Well. We're now given directions to the end of the game. Something evil seeks the seals. Hurry! Did he restore our magic? I think he did, right? Yeah, he did. We'll be like, cool story, bro. Just leave. So I guess at this point, I just want to level whip to showcase something. So a little extra money doesn't hurt here. Because I needed, what was that, 6,500 to get the final upgrade anyway? So I'm going to grab it here. I think I have one other chance to upgrade to it if I need it. Also, I love the background is a little different because we came in or we came out of the cave entrance. Not sure if chat noticed that. Like the sky is very different. It's very bright now. Comparatively. We gotta be really close to the weapon level. I feel like we're within like 70 or 75 right now. 87 is way higher than I was expecting. 
Oh, unless that was the wrong character. Double check I was on the right character. 73. Okay, this is where I thought it was then. Whoa, 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 where did you come from? You weren't there a moment ago. Chad is my witness. You were not here earlier. Oh, he doesn't have his armor on. Oh, that could have been horrific for us. <laughs> right, Chad? It took 150 something damage. Let's not have that happen again. Just, uh, resist that a little bit. See, so yeah, let's unlock with level 4 to showcase some absolute shenanigans. We're not that far off. I just need, like, maybe six kills. And I need money anyway. Yeah, see, Neko wasn't there. I think he actually didn't spawn until we cleared out some areas first. Stop it. 77. Hmm. I think that level up actually just made it more annoying for us, sadly. I didn't even get the chance to hit him. It's also kind of sad. So we just need, like, a little bit of XP. We don't even need, like, a crazy amount. So we're just looking for a way to respawn enemies. And I could possibly go back up to the top. missed. There we go. Nice whack. So now I think if I come from... Actually, let's just kill both of these since I'm here. Somebody leveled. Protagonist leveled. Okay, that's good. His damage is actually somewhat decent. Now I'm new hit level 4. Okay, there we go, chat. And I leveled again on top of that. That's nice. So I feel like I'm probably way over level for where I need to be in the game, but that's fine. We were showcasing things. Extra intelligence just means I get a little more damage on the bosses and a little more safety damage. So now... We're gonna go for a glitch. And then we're going to revert it. See how now there's a farce in the background chat, if you didn't notice that before? I'm not really sure why which entrance you come from determines what it loads. It feels like a bug. So I don't... That, that feels very weird that it changes depending on where you come from. Um, okay, chat. Let's, uh, let's go glitch the game. <laughs> let's go save real quick. <gasps> okay, let's try it. Haven't done this in a while. So you have a character that is whip, right? So normally, when you're in this little cutscene, you're expected to just attack in the direction you're facing. What if you do something like this? Oh wait, that's not the right one. Oh, is it whip level 5? Is it not level 3? Or level 4? That's not the one I'm looking for. Let me check. No, that's not it. Oh, do we not- oh, is it level 5? Oh, it might be level 5. In which case, that's gonna take more time. I thought it was level 4, but it could be mistaken. Yeah, that's not correct. Never mind, we don't have the attack yet. Uh, that I don't think is worth grinding out at the moment. We'll do that later then. So I think we could get that before the end of the game. We have another dungeon to try to level it. So I think it's doable. Love our other character just on fire. So I need to I need to actually purchase the, the weapon upgrade before we can level it though. Yeah, my bad, Chad. I, I mistook level four and level five. They're pretty close to each other. Right, I'm gonna go through here to reset and cancel the sleep animation, and I did. Nice. Well, looks like OBS disconnected again, which is unfortunate. So this is gonna be the end anyway, unless I feel like just leveling it out here. But you know what? I might as well as do. I guess for people that are here for the plot, we'll stop for now. But I'm going to proceed to get to the whip level 5 just to showcase something. I'm also going to make sure we have enough money since I'm doing side things for glitches. That we could purchase the- I have 27,000 gold. Well, never mind, I have more than enough damage. So we're going to level the sword because I can. We're going to level the axe because I can. I'll level the whip, absolutely. Uh, I can turn this into the flail of hope, why not? 
I don't have another javelin for that, sadly. Okay, I can level her axe then for free damage. So now we have very strong weapons. So now we're going off of like kind of speedrun strats because I need to go level some stuff. Yeah, so now our damage should be insanely good. I'm going to tell them to be aggressive for a little bit. For the sake of the bug, we'll just do it here. So now I'm going to be very comfortable with the end of the game. I'm going to tell them to actually be somewhat aggressive here. Tell the boy also to be slightly more aggressive. We'll let him charge up to level... Probably level one. That's probably fine. I'm not looking to go past our area, so that's fine. So I'm hoping with the new axe and the new sword upgrade, they should be doing some really good damage. Yeah, there are damages already super good, it looks like. So this is promising. So one, basically two weapon upgrades on the axe are netting almost double damage compared to where we were before. So I think that's what we were supposed to do to hurt the doppelgangers. See, so yeah, our damage looks really good. So we're about the level the game wants us to be. So that opens up a question. I'm at 4 of 26. Okay. So now we could just do melee strats between here and the end of the game, because I didn't think we would ever get this powerful, but we got a lot of optional kills spamming magic level ups. So we'll take it, I guess. I mean, that thing is just dead, right? Oh, it didn't petrify it, so it lived. Now it's dead. <laughs> yeah, see that petrify? We can one shot with the sprite. That's how OP that thing is. Like this is the this is like telling your white mage essentially to go on a melee spree. That damage was insane. Nice. Double kill. So yeah, now, now I'm feeling pretty comfortable for the end of the game. We have so many safety levels now. Check our weapon level. 57. Okay, we don't have too much more to do it. Oh, the boy kind of glitched a little there. Did you see that? He's stuck. <laughs> see, Chad, he glitched himself. He got wedged in the rock. Don't ask me how he did it. I wasn't watching him. But he was 100% stuck. I know all your white mage does is glare and gets it to step up. Oh. Wait, what? Why didn't it hook? What? <laughs> that, that was a little weird. I don't think that was working as intended. So let's go ahead and use this again, because it's like the best spell in the game for casual play. Seriously, it's so godlike. The fact it could just half HP is insane. Alright, we didn't level yet, but we should be here soon. So if you didn't notice the background before, watch what happens when we leave here. There we go, blue sky. Which one's the right one? I have no idea. We have to be so close to unlocking it, John. You know, I told him to charge up to charge level 1, but he has not landed a single one. He keeps getting interrupted. There we go. Have a good night, Imperameter. There we go. Oh, wrong person leveled. Wait, wait to tease me, never mind. Her hitting axe level 3 doesn't matter at all. I don't plan on using those. I guess we are technically leveling the boys' weapon proficiency for the end game, but we should already be good due to the way that I leveled my weapons earlier. So everything here on out is just bonus XP, in case I mess something up. Like, I get too much XP with Javelin or something weird. 
Okay, I think that was it. Dumb new level, okay. Now we should be able to break the game. So we can make it do some really weird things. So let's see. I think this will work. Huh? Oh, pff, I glitched the boy out. <laughs> Oops. I mean, I sent the AI where it wasn't supposed to go. That wasn't what I was intending to do. Hold on, why is this not working? Did it get interrupted or something? Okay, no, it's the right attack. Just the game is being weird with me. You know what? I'm going to save that little bit of extra XP we got because that was funny. Okay, so I need it to... I think it can't hit an enemy. I think the problem is that these guys are here. I'm just going to kill them with magic so that way they don't interrupt the whip. Uh, we'll just do some ice magic. Get out of here. Okay, so it's like, you set up as though you're gonna do it, and then you change what direction you're facing before it gets launched. This should cause it to behave the way I'm looking for. There we go. <laughs> so, oops. Oops. You can kind of whip whatever way you want. Listen. If you're curious, let's go break the game now. Uh, let's face the sky. That sounds like a legit place to be. Yeah, that's working as intended. Working as intended. Can I escape from here or did I soft lock myself again? Okay, I can get out of here. <laughs> but anyway, you could use that to skip up the mountain instead of zigzagging. You just gotta charge up to level five if you want. It's very stupid. But it's amazing. So anyway, let's go. Let's go rest at the end. So have fun with that, by the way. <laughs> you do. You could go places you're definitely not meant to go. We supposed to. Indeed, it was something you're not supposed to see. Oh, this game is so beautifully broken. Listen, chat. I'm telling you. When I said that this is the first game that I really learned about glitches growing up, I think you understand why. It's, like, impossible to play through this game without a glitch occurring. It's like, I challenge you to get through a game without it glitching. I don't think it's possible. Between the UI and everything else, something weird always happens. So anyway, we have a lot of HP. I managed to actually get armor that I needed. We ground... We did a little bit of what is normally traditional grind in the game. Because we wanted to level our whip a bit. But we'll save here. Our spell levels, I think, are good. I don't think I really need to level anything else at this point, because Freeze is already level 6, and we've already gotten several casts on it. Luna also leveled, which I don't need to level, but it's nice, because I think that might improve how much it steals, MP-wise. So it just makes the run cleaner. But there we go, chat. Let's talk a little bit. We'll pause here for now. The so character just runs in the corner. Oh, switch. Chad, I don't even have the controller. Look at that. Where's he going? Stop it. Is it the right control stick or left control stick? It's the right control stick. Interesting. Thank you, switch. 10 out of 10 quality, chat. But anyway, enough complaining about the switch. Let's chat a little. Did we just see something we weren't supposed to? Chris is getting a lot of use with the game. Just let the game play itself. Yeah, that drift is real. So apparently I have right thumb drift, which is interesting. It's kind of sad because you don't even need it normally. Uh, that is a pro controller that is drifting, by the way. There's not, I do not use Joy-Cons. But my Joy-Con also drifts, so chat is curious. Every single controller I have for the Switch drifts. It's unreal. It's like actually unreal. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, what did we learn today? Well, I had a not clean vampire fight. I will say that's probably the low point of the playthrough so far for me. But high point of the playthrough, I did a glitch I never did before. I never did the trial skip, so that was fun. Um, 
we, I forgot which lip, whip level we needed, but it wasn't too bad leveling it and keeping it in normal gameplay. And now that enables me to have safety levels to get to the final boss. I don't need it for the boss. Levels at this point are just surviving the rooms. But I think I'm going to be spamming a lot of balloon if I don't feel like dealing with things or using a change form plus MP steal to try to get them in a form that has less magic defense, uh, but I can still steal from. Uh, I will try to remember what enemies actually have MP, but I'll probably make a couple mistakes there. But hopefully if we see a couple different enemy types, we'll kind of check them out and see which ones we can kind of feed off of. But generally speaking at this point, extra levels might result in one or two additional low end spell casts. Because uh, even 2 MP is good enough for a freeze, and a freeze might be good enough to get through a room. So I feel pretty confident we can get far in the upcoming dungeons without needing to be as tight on what Fairy Walnuts. The tightest point we had in the playthrough so far was the Vampire. I mean, we had like a leniency of like, what, 5 MP? If we didn't want to go all the way out and go back to town and get the Walnuts again. So that was probably the toughest part of the playthrough, just even in general. Just because the vampire is also somewhat tanky and rather irritating to deal with. But hey, we got every other spell level to four, uh, except for Shade, which I don't plan on using. And Luna, I don't need to level at all. I could, I just don't want to. Similarly, uh, they talked about, I think, the tree spirit known as Dryad. Uh, I probably will not level that either. We're at the point in the game where Freeze will beat basically everything. <laughs> like, like there's just end statement. Freeze is just OP. I love how much damage it does compared to everything else, and it costs nothing. So I have like 12 casts. So all it needs to do is basically do within nine casts or less, 999 damage, and I can fairy walnut in between. So essentially, I can do several thousand damage if I feel like it. But we have to be very careful because we need to make sure we have fairy walnuts for the end of the game. Because the final boss, it is 1,000% required we have MP, or we cannot win the boss fight, by the way. Fun fact, um, that's a thing. <laughs> We're going to contend with that. Uh, but there is a lot of bosses in the final dungeon. We have, we have a couple places to go before we hit the final dungeon, and that'll be our last real opportunity to potentially level up our magic for that final dungeon. But honestly, almost every single point is going to go towards Freeze and Luna at this point on the sprite. So anyway, that's my game plan. <laughs> we'll see how much of that pans out. I'll double check to see if there's any fun glitches I can showcase. I had like a, a glitch video open that started playing earlier, so apologies for that. But I think from that standpoint, uh, I think I showed up basically everything I want to show. But when we get to the end of the game, I want to do a very cheesy speed run. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. If I'm, if I'm in a good mood, we'll do it. Technically, chat, if all goes well, the run is less than 20 minutes long from start to finish. <laughs> Technically. So, you know, it doesn't, in theory, it should not be too long, but I have to actually practice it. So I got a few days before we stream again. Unfortunately, I need to get our save file further before I can practice it. So maybe next Wednesday, I'll practice it for Thursday. But yeah, we can already do several glitches. They're just not useful yet because I'm not far enough in the game. But if I get a little bit further and I complete this next dungeon and a few other small things, uh, then glitches galore, chat. Glitches galore. But anyway, chat, that's all I wanted to add for now. Uh, I have not showcased all the bugs in this game. I cannot do so without two controllers. But just be aware, there are still more to showcase. So look forward to that when we go to play again next time. But anyway, thank you all for sticking around. Sorry again for the internet issues. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching on YouTube. And hope to see you again in the next part.